right, all right, all right. I hope you guys are ready for another hype tournament. It is Tuesday Teardowns, number nine. Uh, another Street Fighter V weekly. We do this every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central European time. I hope you guys are ready to go. We got a nice uh, group of players playing tonight. So first off, let me uh, name all the players. We got Urza from last week who was doing, I think, uh, Laura and Poison. We got Drodra coming back with the Karen. Uh, we got Wolfie, really good Cammy. We got Aiden, up and coming uh, Kage player. We got Alec Menengo, haven't seen him for a while, but super good Ryu. We got Mr. Joloff, who's completely new. Uh, Buddhist is back, Nonstop is back, Ashtar is playing, and we got Sushi Sparkle also playing as well. Um, just about everybody's here, so let's look at the predictions real quick and let's see who Smash he thinks is going to win. So I haven't heard from Spooky yet. I'm assuming that he's here because he was in my chat earlier today saying that he was going to play. Um, it seems like they think that it's going to be it's going to come down to Spooky versus Nonstop. Although, also I forgot to mention that Kuro Kitch. Now, one thing we need to re one thing you guys need to know is that Kurokic is probably one of the best Guilty Gear players in EU. And I didn't even know he played Street Fighter. And I can tell you right now, Kurokic has amazing game sense. He's super duper good. Um, you know, I, I don't know if he's good at Street Fighter or not, but he signed up for Street Fighter. I thought it might have been a mistake, but he he showed up and he checked in and he said, hey, I'm here to, I'm here to play some Street Fighter. I didn't even know he played Street Fighter. So there you go. He might fuck around and be one of the best in, uh, in Street Fighter as well. That's Guilty Gear. Uh, Wolfie was good. So the matches that I'm going to be streaming are Wolfie and Aiden, Alec Maneno and uh, Joe Love, Ashtar and Sushi. I'm going to stream the winner of Ashtar and Sushi versus Kurokish. And I'm going to stream the winner of Ezra and Drodra versus uh, Spooky. And I'm going to stream the winner of Wolfie, uh, Aiden... Alec and Joloff as well and then after after we do all those games we'll pretty much be in our top eight every game will be uh, first to three from there uh, every game will be on stream did he pick to play Ed because you can see a Guilty Gear player doing good with Ed well I don't know I don't know who he plays I didn't even know he played Guilty I didn't even know he played Street Fighter so there you go um, I don't know where Spooky is though that's the thing Spooky might end up playing from losers or he might even end up being disqualified I'm not too sure but more importantly, chat, let's hit up that Macharino, exclamation point Macharino. We're pretty much already halfway to our first goal. We're already pretty much halfway to our first goal. We're pretty much at about nine bucks already before the tournament started. Just to let you guys know, you can use the coupon code Tuesday Tear Tuesday Nine. So I'm gonna write it here, Tuesday Nine. You use that coupon code, it gives you fifty cents. You don't need to put any of your own money into it. You can donate directly out of your own pocket if you choose to um if you guys donate or or subscribe you could donate directly to the match arena you can also subscribe to the channel uh if you subscribe to my twitch i will put a dollar into the prize pool so if you go basically to your twitch you if you got twitch prime you can sub for free and then i'll put a dollar in the prize pool as well so if you guys don't have twitch prime just so you know you guys can get it for free you don't need to spend any money. You can just go to twitch.com uh, slash prom or just Google Twitch prom. Give your account Twitch prom for free and then uh, give me the sub and then I'll put a dollar in the prize pool. All right. Um, you can also do the sponsor quest. I did all the sponsor quests myself as well. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure you go to your profile and you want to make sure that all of your social media is connected to your Macharino account. And then that way you can go and you can follow all of these people. If you follow all of these people, that's another dollar or a dollar fifty. Um, so between the coupon code, the sub, and the sponsor quest, you guys could put literally like two or three bucks in the pot in the pot without paying a single dime. You can also do the coupon for every tournament. Exactly. Well, it's different. It's different coupon codes for different tournaments. This coupon code is specific to this tournament. Uh, Wolfie, I can I can delay your match. We can do another match since you just got home. But anyway, make sure you guys hit up that match arena with with all the people here. If everybody does the coupon code, sponsor quests, 
if everyone gets Twitch Prime and, and gives a sub, we'll be at 20, 30, 40 bucks in no time. So let's get that going. So the matches, like I said, I'm going to stream. I'm going to start with Alec Menengo and Mr. Joe Law first. So let me let me set this up real quick. Give me one sec. All right, so let's get started with the, with the matches. Anyway, I hope you guys are hyped and ready to go. Don't forget, make sure you guys hit up that Macharino. All right, so Mr. Joloff. Anyone who's woke. So Macharino provides all the money. Yeah, people advertise on Macharino. Like, I don't have to, like, you're not giving any of your own money. You're just giving time. So like I said, if you, if you have a Twitch Prime, you can give me your Twitch Prime. That's also free for you as well. That's also free for you as well. You know, you get uh you get a free Twitch Prime if it's your first time doing it. You can give up you can give the Twitch Prime as well. And then I'll put a dollar in the prize spot for that. Yeah, I'm talking to the people who don't have the prime icon. Uh yes, if your match is not on stream, you can start so Ezra and Drodra. Non-stop in the Buddhist, you guys can play off stream. We're gonna do Alec and Joloff. All right, give me one second. I need to invite uh, Mr. Joe Law for a quick. Anyway, if you guys are woke, you know what Joe Law is. I've never heard of Mr. Joe Law, but, you know, let's see. Let's see if he's good. Up, oh, did we get that sub already? Appreciate that, Vermeers. Thank you for the gifted. So that's one dollar that I'm going to put in the prize spot already. It's go time. Let me uh, add him real quick. All right, there you go. All right. Don't forget exclamation point bracket for the bracket exclamation point Macharino for the Macharino exclamation point. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. All right, let's get started. So we got a Seth versus a Ryu. Let's go. All right, you guys ready to game? Are you guys, uh, you guys want a prediction? I don't know anything about Mr. Joloff, so let's see. Alec Menengo versus uh, Mr. Joloff. All right. There you go. New points prediction, now live. All right, let's get it. You know, I'm always, I was actually thinking about switching over to Ryu from Kage. All right, we got some sync. Joloff is actually gonna break out the Urian. Choose, nope, bad fireball, and Alec Nado is gonna punish it. Nice, nice V-Shift. I don't know why he backs off after getting the hit. You're plus in that situation. Nice, anti here though, but misses the fireball conversion. He's going to back dash, try to get the jump in, but Alec Menengo's like, yo, that's not free, but that was a bad confirm, and Joloff responds with a bad punish. Oh, that was a combo, but he drops it. Yeah, so Mr. Joloff is actually dropping quite a bit of combos. He literally could have killed by now. Very nice. EX headbutt, but drops the combo again, and no anti here decides he's going to go for the V-Shift. Yo, so Alec Menengo is leveled up. He's uh, he's plat now. Last time I saw him, he was gold. Nice jump in again. Nice with punish with the EX Fireball. And Alec Menengo is going to take a game. He's playing well. Yeah, Alec is playing pretty well. Like, he definitely needs to reduce the amount of hits he gets. Yeah, that could have been a DP right there, but Alec decided to stay safe. Very nice. Low forward fireball. Nice jump in. Bad jump in, actually. And Joloff not dropping a combo, but he is going to dash up and get that grab. Misses his meaty. Alec Menego could have punished that. And no dash check. Baits the EX headbutt. Okay. Could have threw that. That neutral jump was bad. 
Jolov could have got DP'd for that, but very nice EX charge in the corner. But no punish on that overhead, though. DP, yep. Don't neutral jump in my face like that, Bird. Nice. Oh, but he's dropping. That could have been a kill combo. That could have been a kill combo, too. Now he's going to make up for it by doing some EX, but Alec Benego going to capitalize on both of those drops. Ryu wins. You know, both rounds, both rounds, Jolof beat, um, Jolof actually won, but he dropped his kill combos. Both rounds. Round and one. Alec basically just punished him for dropping his kill combo, and then that's how Alec won. So, Jolof is clearly like, where's Jomi Urza? He's, he's, he's coming. He's playing right now. Nope, no anti at that time. A little bit of lag. Nice. With the regular headbutt, which is uh, safe. Nice. Just hitting him with the block string right now. Probably should grab, but these medium buttons are putting in work right now for Alec Benango. And look at that life deficit. I like that. Oh, he's just going to grab him because there's no pushback on that now. So even though the EX tackle is safe, there is no more pushback. So you can't just get away with stealing your turn anymore. It's now 100% not your turn. That was a bad uh, Aegis mirror, to be honest. That was a really bad Aegis mirror, not going to lie. That was, that was terrible. All right, what's he gonna do here? I, I like I like how Joloff is trying to play safe. Oh, I like that. Using the EXD drop to get out. I I I kind I kind of like uh, that that Aegis actually. Keeps the corner. Nice headbutt. Could have got bored. What? No DP from Alec and Joloff tightening it up right now. I like that back dash. Let's go. Nice EX charge and Joloff cleaning it up. Second round. The high A just looked like a mistake. Maybe. He probably just didn't want to get jumped in on. But this was this was a much better round from Jolov. Why? No, don't do that. No, no. Back to the same mistake. But he is going to dash up. I like the aggression. Could have got the back throw. Tries to go for the media a little bit too early. I, li I like the fact that Jolov is standing his ground, though. Nice. But Oh, no punish. Yikes. Both of these guys missed major punishes on each other. Oh, he is missing his charge. That's, whoa, that's actually plus, isn't it? Nice punish. Alec Manego right now with the corner. Hitting him with the medium button pressure, and Alec is going to shut him down this round. Good. Final round. Fight. Oh, with punish. Alec didn't confirm it, though, but that's fine. He does get the block string. Alec walking up, but the EX headbutt, he's going to say he's going to shut that. He's going to shut all that aggression down. Yeah, that's a punish. Nice. I like that punish. Steals his bar as well. Got to watch out for the yep, V meter. Oh, my God. V reversing the V reversal. I mean, V reversal is a minus. You don't need to do that. Oh, I like that. With headbutt. Nice dash check. Yuri can't check cross-ups. Nice headbutt again. Tries to go for the meaty, but he wasn't plus enough for all that. And I like that V reversal with the wake up DP. Yikes. Alex not fucking around. Ooh, I like that. Max range. Yup, but that's a punish. Ooh, and Jolov once again with the EX headbutt. Yeah, this this is this is the battle of the reversal, man. Oh, that pixel come back. That was crazy. So we got 30 points on Alec, and we got 10 points on Jolov. What are these bets, chat? Round one. Fight. I, li I like that attempted air to air from Jolov. Ooh, almost gets the cross up a little up, oh, but Alec is going to get the cross up, actually. Meaty. Looking for the shimmy. Nice V reversal. I like the fact Jolov tightening up that gameplay. Nice. Ooh, base to DP, but no punish. Wrong button. Should have used crouching medium. No, you can't jump out like that. That's plus. He really needs to get his charge down. Oh, nice parry. Yeah, you can't mash on Ryu like that. We, we just got that B trigger, and there you go. 
Alec now puts himself on match point. Good. Round two. Point. They now allow you to bet, but with zero points. Oh, that's crazy. Nice. Nice. Nice throw tech. Ooh, base DP. Yes, no, bad punish. Nice, yeah, that's that's gonna get punished as well. Meaty throw again. I like the wake up buttons. The knee drop and another throw. He's not afraid. Delayed wake up. Yo, he's still neutral jumping in his face. He does not care. Nice, base the parry. Let's go. I mean, meeting meeting Ryu in this V trigger right now is kind of is kind of sus. I like that. Joloff right now maintaining that corner pressure. Alex starting to walk out of it though. Good. Whoa! In the EX headbutt. Yeah, this yeah, this is the first match. Final round. All right, Joloff putting in some work right now. He needs to remember that Yuri got nerfed a little bit, so he, he needs to make sure that those uh, chariot tackles actually hit. Oh, punish that. Let's go. Nice, big damage. Meaty throw, back throw, gets the OP. That's punishable. He's lucky he didn't do some. Yeah, that's punishable too. Yep. He really needs to space out those forward mediums or back mediums a little bit better. I like that jump in. Tries to walk up for the grab. Nice with headbutt again. Plus, nice. Good pressure. Tries to go for the, the shake my hand. He's trying to make a deal. Alex is out trying to make that deal. Nice. He's really got to be careful with Ryu and this trigger. But I like the fact that he's using his range. You know, if he had did knee drop instead of charge there, he would have won. Nice V-shift break, but he is minus. Nice V reversal. I like the fact that he's using that meter, but... Oh, that's a punish, and Alec is going to have to play from losers. Jolov, cleaning up that gameplay, is going to take it away. Is going to completely take it away from him. All right, so Mr. Jolov is going to take it. There you go. It's go time. That was a pretty good game. Uh, it's 2 1, right? Wait, was that 1 1 or was that 2 1? Hold on a second. No, that was 2 1. Yeah, that was 2 1. Okay. Yeah, just making sure. Alright, so next up we got uh, Wolfie versus Aiden. And let me check on um, the results. Alright, so results for Urza and Drodra and Nonstop and Abusin. You guys need to post them in the results screenshot. Let me know. Alright, uh, next up we got Wolfie versus Aiden. So give me one second, guys. Let me set this up for you guys real quick. Buzzy, appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Sneaky Beak Light, thanks for the follow. Yeah, they're going to shut down gambling. At least do it actual gambling, not just point bets. Do we need to post screenshot? Of course not. No. Just your score. Just write the score. All right, Wolfie Coon. I mean, you you know the drill. You you know you know how this works nonstop. All right. So next up, we got Wolfie Coon versus I am Aiden. Let's do this. I mean, that's like, like I say many times, that's for usually much bigger tournaments, right? That's usually for like much bigger tournaments when we throw like mad crazy tournaments or whatever. All right, so it seems like nonstop has sent Abuzazin to losers and we're still waiting on Urza and Drodra. After this, we got Ashtar and Sushi Sparkle up next. I'm gonna do another prediction real quick. Give me one second. All right, remember, guys, don't forget, hit up that Matcherino. If you have not, we're currently at about $9. We need $20 for top one payout, all right? right. I'm going to shout out the supporters in a second. Uh, Wolfie Coon, I'm doing a prediction poll. I am Aiden. Aiden has been training himself up, so. All right, there you go, Wolfie Coon. I am Aiden. A loft, what's going on? Uh, fuzzy, sneaky, be alike, 
and Kabruski. Thanks for the follows. Appreciate it. Yep, 20 bucks for top one payout. Exclamation point, Macharino, if you guys haven't already. You paid a cami from Ultra Bronze. Uh oh. Oh, you gotta be careful doing that target combo. Nice V, uh, v skill. Meaty throw. Alright, I like the footsies that Aiden's playing. Seems like he's learned to kind of stand his ground. Gets the crush counter as well, but the big wake up button is not that safe. Nice anti air. Yo, Aiden's been in the lab, chat. Oh, nope. Side switch. Meaty throw. Ah, well, not meaty throw. Activation throw. Nope, can't jump in like that. Now you're in the corner. You got to find a way out, though. He does have trigger. Nope, but he's not going to be able to use it this round. And it seems like Aiden still has the same issue. Like, once he gets cornered, he, he doesn't really know what to do. So if it doesn't reach $20, I mean, they get whatever they get. But, you know, 20 is the is the goal for top one payout. We got 500 points on Aiden. We got 100 points on Wolfie right now. Nice anti-air again. Oh, tried to go for the confirm. Oh, both of these guys flubbing their confirms. Oh, raw activation in the corner. That's actually a uh, minus two. He could have just did super. That probably would have killed Kage. Nice. Yeah, you got to be careful being out of range of Kage. He could have did super after that, actually. That would have did a lot of damage. Super. Yep. And Wolfie is going to take it, making sure that it is going to kill. Wolfie goes up one point. B confirms. Yeah, B confirms. All right, supporters. Oh, it seems like Spooky is here, chat. We got Sushi Sparkle with the sponsor quest and the coupon code. Vermeers with the coupon code. Uh, Drodra, Gamma, Kurikich, David, Bronco, Spooky doing all of the sponsor quests. Aiden. Alec Menango, Torpin with the coupon code, Amin with the coupon code as well, and Ashstar. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate the support. Nice. Nice CP. All right. Wolfie, you see, the problem with Wolfie is, like, he, he's constantly backwalking. If he had blocked that standing, he might have been able to punish. Yeah, you can't jump out like that. And that might be, nope, we're close to stun. Oh my god, the knees. How can you be in your tournament? Uh, exclamation point tourneys. You can sign up for them. It's every week. Round two. It's the PC League link right there. Oh, nice. Going to go for the throw. No confirm. Wants the extra damage, the extra stun. Nice heavy kick, DP. Get out of here with these free jumps. I like those dash ups from Aiden. That dash under. Nice combo into the throw. Activate. Nope. Tries to go for the meaty throw, but gets back dashed on. And Wolfie Kuhn is going to let it rip. Get that light, please. Aiden's got a lot of resources here. Meaty side switch, and Wolfie is going to take it with the Schmix. That's 2 0. But Aiden, I do have to say, I do see improvement in Aiden's gameplay. Definitely. Definitely see improvement in Aiden's gameplay. You know, he's not running away as much as he did, like, before. He's, he's standing his ground more. He's getting the anti-airs, you know. He's punishing pretty well. He's playing some good footsies, so Aiden's getting there. All right, Aiden and Alec Menango need to play in losers. Aiden and Alec Menango need to both play in losers right now. We're about to be in our top eight. Wolfie takes the point. Uh, next match is going to be Ashtar versus Sushi Sparkle. Yeah, yeah, off stream. New people in the chat, don't forget to hit that follow button. If you guys plan on playing Guilty Gear Strive, just know we are going to be doing the Guilty Gear Strive Major uh, every Saturday starting July 31st on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. It's going to be a very big tournament. Uh, we're partnering with NYC Furby uh, for this. Uh, we're going to do PC Strive tournaments as well. We're going to do PC Strive tournaments as well, but this is... This is the Strive Major, chat. We're guaranteeing a minimum prize pool. We're going to be raising funds through Macharino. I'll make sure that it hits 1,000 regardless by September 18th. So whatever amount that we don't raise, I'll put up the rest. But, yeah, big Strive tournament coming up uh, July 31st. So make sure you guys sign up for that. 
Also, if you guys play Guilty Gear Plus R, just know that we got Plus R tomorrow. Um, and yeah, we do we do Tuesday teardowns every single Tuesday. So make sure you guys sign up for that as well. And we do Guilty Gear Rev 2 every Friday. So we got a lot of tournaments on this channel. Oh, wrong, wrong one. All right, so next up we got Ashtar versus Sushi Sparkle. Where's the Macharino for that one? Uh, right here, actually. I need to create a command for it. I need to create a command for it. But yeah, you guys can hit up the Macharino for the Strive Major, actually. It's right here. And the, and the coupon code is called Strive Major, one word. But yeah, that's the Strive Major uh, coupon code. I really need to make a command for that. All right, so it seems like Drodra has sent Urza to losers. Uh-oh. Smash GG is tripping, chat. It seems like... Uh, so now Spooky and Drodra is going to be on stream, but we're going to do uh, Ashtar and Sushi. But Smash GG seems to be tripping right now, so... Code used on that? Nice. All right, one second. I'm going to need to uh, set up this next match real quick. Is anybody else having any issues with Smash GG right now? Because on mine, on mine, it's not loading. All right, let's go. When you reloaded, it got the same. Smash GG works fine for you. It might, yeah, it's working now. Yeah, Smash GG's working fine now. We're we're back. All right, so I'm not sure if Spooky's here or not. Spooky, are you here? Uh, Sushi Sparkle. I don't have Sushi Sparkle as a friend. All right, it's just Sushi Sparkle. Hey, potato. Oh, you are here. Okay, cool. Your ma your match is going to be on stream. Um, spooky. Your match is on stream. Sushi Sparkle's good. Well, I got to add them to my favorites anyway. Give me one sec. That way it's easier to invite them for next time. All right, let's go. Let's hit up that Macharino, guys. Let's get to, uh, if everyone here does the Macharino, does the coupon code, does the sponsor quest, we should be at 20 bucks. Easy. All right, so let's let's hit up that Macharino, guys. What? Don't forget, you can go and get a free Twitch Prime. You can give a free Twitch Prime sub to the channel. I'll put a dollar in the prize pool for every Twitch Prime we get as well. All right? Ashtar124. So let me tell you guys about Ashtar and Sushi Sparkle. So I don't know anything about Sushi Sparkle, to be honest. Uh, but I do know that Ashtar um, is a pretty good player. Very neutral heavy. So, you know, we will see. Give you Urza live. If Urza makes top 8, he'll, he'll be on there. New points prediction now. What? Put your points up. Come on, guys. It's time to put up some real, some big boy points. It's so nice to meet. All right, so we got Rose. This is going to be super neutral, chat. We got 1K on Sushi right now. Oh, my God. We are so behind. Holy shit. All right, I'm going to put two stacks on Ashtar because I believe in the power of Ashtar. Nice whiff punish. Whoa, even bigger whiff punish. The throw. Okay. Sushi Spark is going to back up. Tried to go for the DP. No punish, though. And no confirms from uh, from Ashtar. Ashtar is getting these uh, back heavies. Ashtar is getting these back heavies, but he, he doesn't confirm them. I like the zoning right now from Sushi. No, but tries to go for the sweep. A little bit too close. You believe in the bronze? Nope, this is the combo. I like the neutral being played right now by Sushi. Nice dash under. Big back dash again. Run away. Hits him with the EX Fireball. Sushi Sparkle is going to take that first game. 
Oh man, Rose players. We got 2.1k on Ashtar. We got 1k. Oh my god, no confirm again from Ashtar. And so many whiff punishes. Oh, GP. That had to have been an input error. Wake up. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that wake up. When Rose has bar, that's a that's a that's a strike in bowl. Projectile in bowl. Um, nice confirmed this time by Ashtar though. Wait, Ashtar rank down. Punish that. Yep. Nice. V trigger confirmed into the activation. Ooh, gets the freeze. Gonna lock that stun bar for a while. No, not if you get it. Punish that. Yep. Could have did EX. Could have punished that too. Gonna confirm that. Ashtar's gotta work on these confirms, but it doesn't matter. He gets the whiff punishes anyway. Is this Street Fighter 6 footsie game? <laughs> We got 1.5k on Sushi Sparkle now. Okay, let's play. Nice. Ooh, what? Missed the DP. Should have just went for the DP instead of the hit. Because the hit causes air recovery. That could have been also a confirm. Nice crush counter. It's going to get the corner. Meaty throw. Ooh, misses the meaty. Gets thrown. So, for those who don't know, Ashtar is actually a, a Balrog main. Balrog is a much better character for uh, for Ashtar, but he has been trying to learn Colleen lately. Punish that, yeah. Get the confirm. Let's go. Into the super? He's going to spin it? He wants that life lead. Let's go. I like it. I mean, nice. Going to dash him. We get the Oki. Oh, my God. We're just confirming. The only problem with doing super in that situation is that it scales really, really hard. Nice. Punish that card. Meaty jump. Gotta watch out for the V trigger though. Punish that. Nice. Good punish. If I was if I was Ashtar, I would chill. I would chill from here on out. Alright. He's got the teleport now, so you gotta be careful. He wants you to block something so that he can teleport. Nice. Whiff punish. Let's go. Or uh, aggression check, actually, from Ashtar. Ashtar with these foots. He's not blocking anything. Oh, my God. Gets dp though. And that's something a lot of Rose mains you never see do. I would just block it out. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Nice anti-air. And Ashtar is going to take it. Colleen wins. Excellent neutral at the end. Waiting for Biken. Oh, here are also GG Plus R tournaments. Yep. We're on Rockin' Wednesdays 11, I think, now. Round one. Damn, the neutral game looks Fight. amazing. Yeah, yeah, we do MK11 as well on here. We've been doing MK11 for a long time. Punish that. No, a little bit too far. Ooh, let's go. All right, what's the play right now? How's MK11? I mean, we've been doing MK11 for a long time. So. No, it's all good, Spooky. Don't worry about it. Your match is going to be next. Punish that. Yep. Nice. Punish. Big boy punish. That's what we're talking about here. He must have noted I'm listening. If he had confirmed that, he would have got the stun. If he had confirmed that, too, he would have got stunned. Punish that. Yep. Get the stun. Yo, thanks for the sub. That's now $2 that I have to put into the prize pool. Let's go. Meaty throw. Oh, bait. Tried to bait the wake up, uh, the wake up EX spiral, actually. Excellent neutral this time from Ashtar. Suit much, much tighter. Punch Planet Network update will be fire. I was thinking about getting Punch Planet, actually. Is there a lot of players for Punch Planet? Nice jump in. Got a bait. Nope. Meaty throw. Nope. Doja bait. Nice. Ashtar, you got to confirm, man. If you, if you confirm those low forwards, you would have the stun already. Nice. That could be stun. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Wake up super. Blocked. GG. Yep. And Ashtar, second game. Much cleaner than the first game. Uh, it felt like, I guess, Ashtar was uh, low forward, can't confirm. Oh, really? You can't confirm low forward? That's good to know. That's good to know. I did not know that. See, that's why I don't play Colleen. 
Very good game. Very good game. Ashtar takes it 2-0 over Sushi. Uh, let me see. Uh, Aiden and... Um, Aiden and Manalik. All right, so next up we got uh, Spooky versus Drodra up next. You lost 2-0. Okay, so Aiden is out, unfortunately. Alec, you need to now play against the Buddhism for, for top eight. I might want to stream that, actually. I'm going to stream that. Alec, uh, Alec Menengo, I'm going to stream your next game. Next up, we got Spooky versus Drodra up next. So let me award the points to the Ashtar Believers. Let's play Smash. Lol. I think Melee's got, got rollback, right? You're not good for tournaments? Listen, tournaments are not always about winning, Aiden. It's not always about winning. You understand what I'm saying? It's about learning and improving. You should you should not be looking to win right now. You should be looking to improve. If I was to do if I was a like tournament player, if I wasn't a commentator, I wouldn't even be looking to win. I would be I would be looking to uh you thought Punch Planet had a rollback? Yeah, you you should you should definitely be looking to improve more so than win. You'll know when you're ready to start like winning stuff, you know? You know what I mean? You'll know when you're ready to start winning stuff. When you're when you're ready to start winning stuff, it's I would say when you have like an 80, 90% win rate, win win rate in, in, in online, then you could probably say, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to start winning some shit. You know? Do I not have Drodra on here? You see so many new things when watching others play your character. Yeah, just just focus on improving right now. I wouldn't even worry about it, you know? Does Punch Planet not have rollback, guys? I thought Punch Planet had rollback. It seems like Drodra is leveled up. It seems like Drodra's leveled up. You can only play it on Parsec. All right, new poll prediction going up. Remember, guys, hit up that Macherino, please, and thank you. We're at 940 with the $2 that I got to put in the prize spot. We're pretty much at 1140 guys. So we're pretty much almost halfway to our goal. Please hit up that Macherino. We are so close to our goal. If everyone here does the Macherino, we will be good to go. All right? So, so hit it up. Support the channel. Support the players. Drodra been bodying you lately? Really? So Drodra has leveled up. I remember Drodra was just gold. Now he's super gold, right? All right, new poll prediction. Now live. I'm going to choose to believe in Drodra. I know Spooky is godlike, but I'm going to choose to believe in Drodra. I'm going to put a thousand on Drodra. Myself. I'm gonna choose to put a stack on Droger. We got um, 600 on Spooky. Now, for those who don't know, Spooky has won several Tuesday teardowns. By the way, so don't cap on don't cap on Spooks. Spooky is godlike. Yo, what the fuck? Why are we so late in the match? Oh, Shimmy, let's go. Oh, I'll try to go for the punish. Kept it safe though. I like that back dash from Droger. Let's go. Ooh, big whiff punish. Now, the thing about Spooky, oh my god, didn't anti air that? Or his anti air was late. And he's gonna activate. Tries to go for the meaty schmix, but Spooky's gonna block that, and you might actually die for that. He might actually die. Oh my god, he died for that mix, bro. He died for that mix up. Holy shit. Nice jump in. Ooh, almost gets the whip punish. Nice cross up. Karen can't do much about that. Nice whip punish. Another excellent whip punish from Troja. But even better, Tro so he's like, yo, I'm the king of whip punishes here. That's safe. 
Oh my god, and the shimmy as well. So a lot of people don't know that that crouching heavy punch is like pretty minus. I need to look up the frame data on that one second. Let me look up the frame data before I talk out of my ass real quick. That crouching heavy punch from uh, from Gil. Where, where's my frame data app? Round Minus eight. Yeah, 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 he could like him him doing uh him doing knee drop after that is completely fake. I knew it was plus because if he tries to do fire, if he tries to do anything after that, like you could just literally interrupt it. You could just literally interrupt it. Nice. Calls out the fact that he tried to tech. Oh, that's a punish, actually. No, wait, is that plus if you take it? Oh, another throw. Let's go. Ooh, no dash check from Spooky? What? And Droger popping off right now. Droger just popped off that whole round. Okay. Ooh, tried to go through the projectile. Did uh, cancel, did his run command dash a little bit too short. That record's like minus seven. Yeah, I figured it was modest, right? I'm surprised he's getting punished. Ooh, that's punished. Oh my god, wake up, buddy. I think you can't interrupt it with slow buttons, so it makes people to try to punish. Alright, there you go, Spooky. Bringing this match right back. The GG fundies. <laughs> Roja does have full CA meter though, so he's got a lot of meter to work with. This is a no fireball zone right now, Droger. Oh, nice jump in. He's looking for it. Ooh. Ooh, no whiff punishes. Man, look at the neutral right now. I like that jump. Oh my god, this is the anti-air though. That is so unlucky. Yep, nope, nope. Gil gets his best combos off anti airs by the way. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> GG's. And Droger did not get to use any of that meter at all. Gil wins. GG's chat, GG's. Alright, Spooky is gonna take it. It's go time. 2 0. Spooky will make top 8 winner side. Uh, Drodra and Sushi Sparkle need to play in losers for top eight. Next up, we got um, Wolfie Coon versus Mr. Jolov. So let me uh, set that up real quick. Let me set that up. Give me one second. New people in the chat, don't forget hit that young follow button. We got a lot of a lot of big tournaments coming up. GG Spooky Trainbone again, of course. Wolfie Coon. Versus uh, Mr. Joloff. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go, chat. You know, there's a meme. There's a French meme about when your French friend tries Joloff rice for the first time. Don't forget, guys, please, once again, there's like 40 something folks here. Let's hit up that Macharino, chat. There's like 40 of us here, chat. Let's hit up that Macharino. Everyone here just does the code not even the sponsor quest not even the twitch prime sub if everyone here just goes to match arena real quick and just does the code we will reach our goal chat let's go all right uh so yeah let's get started with the next match let me do those predictions real real quick give me one second sagat got really far in rip sagat is not bad anymore Anyone who tries to say that Sagat is bad is capping extra hard now. Sagat is, is up there. Like, his fireballs are kind of busted. He's at worst mid-tier. I think he might be better than mid-tier, honestly. All right, new prediction poll, now live. Place your bets. Wolfie Coon or Mr. Joloff, who do you guys think is going to take it? Sagat trash, bro. 
the word meme is French, so there goes that. Add you on tournament. You know, if you join my Discord, you would see me talking about the tournament for like a week straight. All right, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a thousand on Mr. Joloff because if you guys know what Joloff Rice is, then, then you understand why I got a lot points on. I'm not saying he's like S tier. He's at least a solid A tier though. Like he's not bad. Like people who said that he used to be bad, he's definitely not bad anymore. He's definitely like not bad at all. Like he's he's definitely very playable now. I like the neutral being played right now. Wolfie Coon with the life lead. That's plus. You gotta watch your legs. Nice. I like the footsies that Mr. Joloff is playing right now. He's playing super duper safe. Even that gameplay super tight, but he does get whip punish. Shimmy into the throw. Oh, nice EX head, but misses the conversion though. Ooh, overshot that knee drop just a little bit. And that's gonna be the round gets hit with the V trigger cannon spike. We got 1k each. Nice with punish. Stand medium. Ooh, both of these guys throwing out those medium buttons. Nice anti air on the dive kick. Yo, but the walk under. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, with throws are plus five, by the way, chat. But the wake up buttons. You're not plus enough for that dash. Nice anti air. Wolfie became the game tonight. Nice interruption, but no conversion. That's plus. No, it wasn't fully charged, so never mind. Ooh, he could have went up that. Yo, the charge. Now that one is definitely yo. This man Wolfie Coon is out here mashing on plus frame, chat. Only Cammy mains. I like that conversion. I like that uh, activation. Oh my god, I thought he switched sides when he did. That's plus. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's plus. What is this music? Street Fighter 5 music, bro. What you mean? <laughs> what you mean, Street Fighter 5? Sagat literally only has fireball to anti-air. That's, I mean, that's literally all he needs. Round what else one. does he need, bro? Fireballs to make you jump. Fight. This is Skullgirls? Nope, it's Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V soundtrack, actually. Nice anti-air on that knee drop. Wolfie. Wolfie not trying to make those deals. Sounds like some Skullgirl shit. It does sound like some Skullgirl shit. Nice me shit break. But the wake up buttons, you're not plus enough for that dash, Mr. Joloff. Let's go. EX headbutt to get out with that neutral jump, though. He's got, he's got to be careful with his neutral jumps. People in this tournament definitely have the reactions to punish those uh, neutral jumps. You got to be careful with uh, whipping, that, uh, whipping that dive kick. Oh, he got hit. He got hit, chat. Jazzy D and B hits the spot. Pretty sure it's Abigail's Christmas stage music. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. That's still plus. Just because they nerfed the recovery doesn't make it less plus when it hits you. Oh, that was a punish, but he didn't punish the sweep. But did y'all know you can change the main menu music to any item in the game? Really? I didn't know that. Nice. Ooh, I like that jump. Joloff trying to navigate around this Cami right now, but he shift is minus. Ooh, trying to jump over, but he's using the wrong button. Oh my God, he's trying to wake up. Yo, Joloff don't know what to do, bro. He's pressing all the buttons. Now this man is waking up with literally everything. Wolfie is just whiff punishing him. GG's. GG's, chat, GG's. Wolfie is going to take it over Mr. Joloff. Joloff has another opportunity to make it into top eight. All right, so we're still waiting on Drodra and Sushi Sparkle. Oh, wait. Drodra has eliminated Sushi from the tournament. GG's. Drodra makes top eight. On the loser side, Joloff actually, Abyss is not playing tonight, so Joloff actually makes top eight on the loser side as well. Alec has made top eight on the loser side. So now we got one last match for top eight. I was supposed to stream that, right? I think I was. Next up, we got Kurokich versus Ashtar. 
last match before we get into our top eight. So let me set that up for you guys real quick. And remember, guys, don't forget, I'm going to keep saying it over and over, chat. Hit up that young Macherino, please, and thank you. We're at 990 plus the $2 I need to put in. That's uh, 11 dollars so that's pretty much about 12 bucks. So we're about $8 short of a top one payout. So let's work on getting to that $20 top one payout, chat. Let's make it happen. New people in the chat, hit that follow button. We got a lot of tournaments coming up as well. So let me set this up real quick. Give me one sec. So Kurokic versus Ashtar. You and Abzu didn't play? Are you sure? Okay, what about I'll stream your match next then. I'll stream your match next. I'll, I'll fix it and, and, and stream your match next. Kurokic and Ashtar. Reposted the score. Your name changes every time. Yeah, somebody posted the score there. Someone posted the score in Discord, or am I tripping? I might be tripping, chat. Yeah, Alec, you posted the score 2 0. Oh no, that was for a different game. That's probably what it was. That was for a different game. I read it again as the same game. Alright, so let me start this over. Hold on a second. All right, um, don't forget, guys, if you're new here, we got the Guilty Gear Strive Major coming up in partnership with NYC Furby. Uh, we also do Guilty Gear Plus R and we, uh, on every Wednesday, and we do Guilty Gear Rev 2 every Friday tournaments. We also are going to be doing Guilty Gear Strive every Saturday on PC and PlayStation. We're going to do the PS4 Strive Major, and then after that, we're going to do the PC uh, Fight Night for Guilty Gear Strive when Guilty Gear Strive comes out. Um, every Saturday. We also do Mortal Kombat 11 tournaments here every Saturday as well. Oh wait, wrong screen. We also do Mortal Kombat 11 tournaments every Friday as well. Alright. Let's see, Kuro Kitch. Let me get Kuro Kitch in here real quick. Kurokage is just Kurokage. Alright. Alright, let's get it. Can't take Ed players seriously. All right, let me do the new prediction. So I told you guys, Kurokic is a really good Guilty Gear player. Turns out it seems like he's also a pretty good uh, Street Fighter V player as well. So let's see if Ashtar's footsies is good enough to save him from Kurokic. Because I can tell you right now, Kurokic literally knows how to play every character in Guilty Gear. Like, mad good. So I'm pretty sure it's the same for, uh, for, for Street Fighter as well. So... The Street Fighter is actually a much easier game to play, so. Alright guys, new points prediction now live in the chat. Make sure you guys place your bets. I think I'm going to put some points on the homie Kurokic. Put 2,000 on Kurokic. You guys vote for Ashtar maybe. Round Alright, we got some Fousies being played right now. Oh my god, the trade. Nice whiff punish. Oh, he's ready. Oh, Kurokic is ready. Keeping that fireball distance. Whoa! Tried to go for the DP just out of range. How do people go to the character collect screen and say, yeah, I want to play Ed? You know how. It's the same person who wants to play Honda. Nice. With punish up. Tries to go for the off. The too far. Big with punish again. Dash up. No check. Yo, you're just gonna let this man neutral jump in your face? Oh yeah, that's real. Nice swift punish using the uh, B reversal to get out of the corner, switch the side. Oh, but the whiff punish again! Kurgich. Go Ashtar, I don't wanna play Ryu. Nice jump in, dash up, tick throw. Looking for the crush counter. Oh my god. I think that that was a buffer error. 
because for some reason Street Fighter 5 if you do forward and then quarter circle forward it gives you DP. No DP that time. It looked like he was buffering it but it didn't come out. Good block. It's been punished again. Dirk is trying to use that EX DP, I mean EX Fireball to get in. Nice crush counter. Ashar right now showing that he can hang. Tries to go for the meaty throw whiffs. He's going to get hit. I like that B shift. Nice anti-air. We take those. Nice shove in. Oh my god. That was actually game, but I, I, I respect him keeping it safe. Overhead and Ashar is going to take the game. You mean Fortnite guy? Hey guys, look, it's Ryu from Fortnite. I like the back dash. Oh my god. Failed the cross cut. A little bit too early on that anti air. Nice dash check. No punish though. Yep, free DP. All day. Don't jump on him like that. Oh my god, these dashes. Ashtar is going to check these dashes now. Ooh, looking for the wake up parry. Trying to, trying to catch wake up bugs. I like that EX fireball. Oh my god, going with the 50 50. Stand light jab. That's a real 50 50. Oh my god, the jump. It gets the throw. Back throw into the meaty. Oh my god, gets the parry on the jump in. The tech on the meaty throw. And this match is looking kind of crazy right now. Kirk is trying to shimmy after the activation. Oh my god, that's scary. Ryu hitting you with those mediums, bro. Oh my god, nice crush counter. Yo, you got to anti-air that. Oh, tries to go for the overhead. Gets thrown out of it. Wake up buttons. No punish. Oh, that's, that's not game, but it's pretty damn close. Nice, speedy catches whatever Kirk has tried to wake up with. And Ashtar is going to take the first game. That was good. That was a good one. Sagat is third. Ed's worst matchup is probably Sagat. He made a counter pick chart with data from win rates. Ed's worst matchup is for you. Can't believe they didn't put Chun Lee. Oh my god, punish the parry. Let's go. Nice myth punish again. Whoa, misses the anti air. That was a prime anti air opportunity. Nice V ship on that throw. Good OS. Nice whip punish. Let's go. Catches the dash. Oh my god, tried to parry, but it was actually an empty jump. Yo, the micro shimmy. Overhead, let's go. Throw. One more touch to stun. Nice. That's gonna be game. Yep. Honda has best win rate. What's Kage's best matchup? Abudison. What's Kage's best and worst matchup? Tell me. It's funny because nobody in EU really plays Rasheed like that. It's kind of funny. There's like a few Grandmaster Rasheeds like Bert is one. Bert is actually one of the only Grandmaster Rasheeds I know about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boozy. Nice. Gonna slide in those DMs with the low. Nice. Gets the freeze. Gonna use up that whole V meter. That that stun bar will stay frozen. Nice anti air. He's gonna have to hit. Oh, I was just about to say he's gonna have to hit Ashtar. Oh, the shimmy. Let's go. Oh my God. Yeah, these fireballs. You you can't jump them on reaction. Yeah, that's not safe. Nice jump in, and that's gonna be the round. Let's go. Gonna ex it just for good measure. Kage's worst matchup. It has to be Sim. I, I believe in Sim. Sim destroys Kage. Nice anti air again. Oh, this is this time. Needs to jump over these fireballs. Make the good read. Good spacing on these fireballs. That's a free DP. Nice. I like that dash up. This plus no tries to go for the sweep. I like that raw activation. It's gonna make a uh, Kirkish think for a second. Now we got the pussy game to dash in full three low. Kage's worst three is Seth, Zangief, Karen. I believe that. Anti air, let's go. He should dash up and go for a mix up when he gets those anti airs. Nice dash check again. Next touch is stun. Yo, dash up. Oh, trying to go for the parry. Yikes! 
Nah, nah, sorry, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Curry Kitch is gonna take it. And take us up one to one. Yeah, I don't know. He didn't need to parry there. Dash up, throw strike. What's the play? Because it was on Kurikish to, to guess. Kurikish had to guess for game. Or or dash up shimmy. Round one. Into throw strike would have been, been better. In case he wanted to wake up with something. Alright, one second. Alright, we got some pussies. Nice, sweet. Oh, catches him with the medium into medium. That's a real 50 50. When Ryu hits you with that medium, is it's going to be throw a strike. Oh my god. Yeah, nice. I, I like I like him spacing that out. I mean, to be honest, Ashtar should really just take the throw. Oh my god, he dashes forward. I like that V shift. Punish that. Let's go. I guess he was assuming that that may have crushed counter, but it didn't. Ooh, nice whip punish. Let's go. Whoa! Misses the cross up. That's unlucky for Ashtar. No anti on the stop. Shimmy, let's go. Opti. I believe that these are his worst worst matchups. Especially Zangief. Zangief is surprisingly effective against Kage because all Kage has for neutral is fireballs. And he can just get through those pretty easily. Nice hands here again. Try to go my throw. Good delay tech. Nice jump in. Yeah, you're not DPing that one, buddy. Jump in. Shimmy. No, confirmed for the stun, but he gets it anyway. Set up. Whoa! Drops his combo. Yikes! Yo, just take the throw, Ashtar. Ashtar, just take the throw! Oh my god. The biggest choke in Street Fighter V history. Oh no. Another choke. Oh my god, the chokes. No, what are you doing, Ashley? Nice, gets the anti air. Oh my god, that was about to be the biggest choke in Street Fighter V history. Bro. Fight. <laughs> oh my god, dash up with punish. He was saving meter. Nice. I like that parry. You know, he has EX, a nice jump in. Uh, super. I like that. I like that. Cash out early. Cash out early. Last round. Get that early life lead. Play Nooch. Nice. No jumps. Nice. Harry Ashtar. Kind of playing out of his mind right now. I like that. I like that V-Shift. He's got a... Nope. That's plus. Yeah, just, just take the throw, bro. Just take the throw. It's, it's all right. Yo! <laughs> Clip it. Yo, Ashtar fighting for his life out here, bro. Holy shit, that was godlike. Yo, Ashtar going hard than a motherfucker, bro. That was actually super good. It's go time. Okay, <laughs> that was actually super, super dumb. That was that was super super good. Yo, you know I voted on who did I vote on? Did I vote on Kurikich or Astar? But I voted on Kurikich. Yikes. Kurikich was really good though. Astar just just dug it out though. Astar going to win Evo if he plays like that. That I don't know if I got that set up correctly. Evo online going to be crazy. Listen, Astar, you played super duper good those last couple games. You almost choked it though. You almost choked. Like that that first round, you almost fucking choked it like really hard. Almost gave up the game to Kurokich actually. But but you brought it back, so it's all good. Alright, chat. Next match is going to be a Buddhist versus Alec Menango in losers for top eight. Uh Kurokich, you need to play Urza for, for top eight. Okay? So you do that right now off stream while we do this. So a Buddhist and um Alec up next so let me set that up for you guys real quick give me one sec and let me check where we're at in the match arena right now don't forget guys i'm going to keep repeating it over and over and over again we got a lot of folks here hit up that match arena you can put in code twos tear nine that is the code there's several ways you all it takes is a little bit of time you guys don't need to put any of your own you can donate your own money if you want to 
but all it takes is literally like two seconds of your time. You do the sponsor quest, which legitimately took me like a minute. And I put a dollar in the prize pool. Uh, it takes like 10 seconds for you to put in the code. Uh, two's tear nine, and you put 50 cents in the prize pool. Uh, if you have a Twitch Prime, it takes you like two seconds. If you don't have a Twitch Prime, it takes you two seconds to just go get Twitch Prime and then give the Twitch Prime to the channel, and then I will put a dollar in the prize pool. Kuro wants to be DQ'd. Are you sure about that? Let me all at him. Oh, Kuro Kid said he has to go. All right, that's fine. All right, so as Urza is going to make top eight by DQ. So hold on, Alec Menango and uh, yeah, so there's a lot of ways you guys can fund this prize pool. A lot of ways you guys can fund this prize pool right now. So don't sleep on the Macharino. We need literally about 10 more bucks and we have our top one payout. So if 10 people just do the sponsor quest and the, the coupon code, we will have our, uh, our situation, all right? So don't forget, hit up that Macharino, guys. Next up, last match before we get into top eight is um, a Budazin. A Buzatin versus... Let me see. Alec Menengo. And don't forget, guys... If you haven't already, please follow the socials. We got 1,100 members, FGC members in our Discord server. Make sure you guys join our Discord. Follow on Twitter. Clout up your boy. Do I not have a Buddhist on here? Apparently not. Don't worry, Buddhist, and I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. Still have one hour. Yeah, he had to go, unfortunately. Well, we're already about to be in top eight, so we should have enough time to get through the rest of this tournament. All right, let's go. Yeah, I heard about that potato. I'm going to download it. I'm going to download it and play it, actually. I mean, we got Strive. We got Virtual Fighter. We got KOF coming out. We got Melty Blood. We got a bunch of stuff coming out, chat. We got, we got a bunch of games coming out. It's about to be lit. Yeah, we probably might do some Virtual Fighter uh, uh, tournaments as well on PlayStation since it's free. There's no reason not to play it if it's if it's free. I just hope that it has rollback. That's the thing. You plan on doing a lobby stream for Virtual Fighter? Yeah, if it, if it's got rollback, then yeah. You've never played a Virtual Fighter in your life, bro. Listen, you guys remember how I went on this whole spiel about how like Street Fighter Alpha Three was my life? Well. Let me tell you something. Before Street Fighter Alpha 3, it was fucking Virtual Fighter, dog. It was Virtual Fighter. I'm a boomer, bro. I am actually an FGC boomer. Fight. Because <laughs> I, I played the fuck out of Virtual Fighter 1, bro. You don't think it has rollback? Rip. Yo, Buddhist is going in. Crush counter. No, drops the combo, though. Actual boomer game. <laughs> yeah, Virtual Fighter is real talk of boomer as fuck game, bro. That's like the first 3D fighter. No punish. I like I like how Abuja's in his lane right now. Good activation. He's gonna V reversal that. That's plus. Yo, he's in there, bro. Command grabbing Abuja's and popping off. Abuja's is definitely playing a lot better. Abuja's is playing a lot better than he usually plays, but. There might be some spectator lag here. I'm gonna put um, 2,000 on Alec Menango though. This poll. <laughs> we play real fighting games now. Why are you people not voting? Why are most of you not doing the, the fucking Macharino, bro? 
Mostly, I oh yeah, punish that. There's like 40 something people here and nobody's doing the match arena, bro. Like, <laughs> like if even half of you were to do the match arena, like that could have been punished. I like that, good activation. You don't know how. You see next week virtual fighter tournament, maybe. Depends. If it's, if it's, uh, cause you don't know where the money is going if it doesn't reach 20, who gets the money? First place player, bro. First place player always gets the money. But you could just help it reach 20, though. And then the first place player gets the money anyway. The first place player always gets, always got one. Wins. It's Match Arena, I'm not allowed to keep any of the money. Like, it's, that's the whole point of Match Arena. Yo, this man does not want to give me money, bro. Like, he's like, yo, I'm willing to give the players money, but I don't want to give you shit, bro. <laughs> Can you do rock, paper, scissors tournament next week? Yeah, why not? We got 3.4K on Unison. We got 2.5K on Alec Menango. This match is for top eight. This is a loser side. Yo, punish that. Nice. Well, joke's on you. For every sponsor quest you do, I get money anyway, motherfucker. <laughs> I get paid on the back end. So there you go. I don't get the money you donate. I get other monies from Macherino that they give me. So joke's on you, motherfucker. I still get money. Hold that. You're, you're going to have to hold that now. <laughs> All right, and Alec Menango is going to take that. Other bunnies. <laughs> oh, this guy's being an ass, bro. He's like, yo, I don't want to give you anything, bro. He's like, yo, I don't want to give you anything. I just want to give money to the players. I'm like, bro, support the channel. Like, you did it, guys. You did it. <laughs> what, you? Hit up that Macherino. Nice. Good shit. Good shit. Yeah, support the channel, support the players, bro. You go hand in hand. That's why Macherino, they, they give monies for both. Whenever you do a sponsor quest or whenever you use the coupon code, they give some money to the players and they give a small amount to the to the TL. Oh my god. The Buddhist is going in right now, though. This is why Alex costume so tan. Final why is Alex costume so tan? Fine. Bro, this man was on the beach suplexing your girl. That's why he's tan, bro. <laughs> he was on the beach hyper power driving your girl, bro. That's why, that's why he's tan. <laughs> All right, Fahrenheit, I'm gonna explain it to you, bro. 20 bucks is a stretch goal. 20 bucks is a stretch goal. You understand? Suplex your baby mama. <laughs> yeah, it's a stretch goal, right? Like, the goal is to get 20 bucks. But whatever we raise, if it's under 20, goes to, goes to the top one player. Uh, I kind of felt like it was implied. Nice jump. Oh my god, the cross up and Alec popping off right now. Saving himself from elimination for one game. You win. Exactly. Pretty much from here. That's the best way to go. If we get a uh, top two payout, bro, has anyone ever checked Alex's dash? You've never seen it happen. Alex's dash is really scary. Well, Ashton, we already said that. If it's under 20, it goes to the top Round one player. One. Fight. You said it's slow? Nah, Alex's dash is scary as fuck, bro. I'm scared of Alex's dash. Look at that. Nobody ever checks Alex's dash. You know why? Because of the Lariat. Because if you're late, if you're late, he gets a crush counter off the Lariat. That's the thing. Alex's dash looks way faster than it is. It's 19 frames. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, Kage's dash is faster than that. Kins is 15. Yeah, I was gonna say Kage's dash is like 17 or some shit like that. Kids is literally unreactable. I like that Alex Menango uh, tightened up his. Oh my god, jumps over the Larry and gets the whip punish. Alec Menango has definitely completely tightened up his gameplay. Round two. Fight. 
I mean, you also got to remember, it's 20 frames online. Kage's a 16. I knew it was like 16, 17 ish. But it's, Kage's dash is like so good. Nice. He checked that dash that time. <laughs> Ken's dash is faster, but Ed's going for the nice shimmy. He just walks out of that command grab, gets the meaty, catches the Buddha's impressive button. Wake up super. No, he blocked that. Punish that. Yep. Stun. Oh my god, max damage stun. And Alec Menango is going to eliminate a Buddhist from the tournament and make top 8 on the losing side. GG's. Yo, Alec, Alec was getting washed at first, but then he completely, like, stepped his game up towards the end. It's go time. All right. So Alec has 2-1 Abudasin. All right, so we got our top eight. We got uh, Spooky versus Wolfie, Nonstop versus Ashtar, Urza versus Alec, and Mr. Joloff versus Drodra. So all of top eight is going to be on stream. GG's to everyone who has played so far. Let's get a round of applause for everyone who has played so far. We're at $10.40 plus the $2 I got to put in. So we are pretty much at $12.50 right now. Give me Urza. Oh, he's going to be on stream, bro. Who's next on stream? Um, Spooky and Wolfie. And it's going to be first to three from now on. So give me one second. Let me uh, change the room. First to three. All right. Spooky about to open up another can of paint. Yeah, big facts. Paint time. Is it paint time, chat? All right, Wolfie, can you hop in the room real quick while I set everything up? All right, let's go. We are currently in top eight. Let's give a, let's, let's give a shout out to every single person who's played so far, by the way. Everyone played really, really well tonight. Definitely one of the better um, Tuesday teardowns we've done so far. All right, let me do a new prediction real quick. Give me one second. Oh, wait, I didn't change the name as well. Oh, we got that Kage theme chat. All right, let's get it. All right, chat, top eight time. Let's get it. If you hype, spam the chat with those emojis. If you guys are hype and ready for some top eight action, new prediction poll going up for top eight. First game of top eight. Winner side, Spooky let's versus Wolfie Coon. You guys got two minutes to place your bet. Let's get it. New people in the chat, don't forget also, if you have not already, make sure you guys follow your boy on Twitter. We need more Twitter followers so I can get those big, uh, those big, uh, you know, esports jobs. I'm gonna put 2,000 on Wolfie. I believe in Wolfie chat. Yo, where are the character models? Yo, what's up with the game? The game is stripping. Yo, we got 3K on Wolfie. We got 1K on Spooky. Make sure you guys place your bets. Remember, Spooky is a winner. Is a Tuesday Teardowns winner, multiple week winner. So don't sleep, Game Bug. Yeah, Game Bug now for a second. Oh shit, we got 18k on Spooky, we got 3k on Wolfie. Yo, if Wolfie fucks around and wins this, bro. I will fight you. Yo, we're about to fast forward a whole round, bro. Oh my god. We just we just teleport. Oh my god, he's shimmy as well. We're going big on Spooky. Oh my god, we just we just we just transport into the match and Spooky's already got Wolfie in the corner, bro. <laughs> We don't know how we got here. All we know is that we come in the game and shit. Oh my god. Wolfie gets shimmied, bro. Yo! Anti air is getting stuffed. Trip guards. No firm. Jesus Christ. 
Spooky right now, popping on. Spooky does have super, so next hit is death. Oh my god, that was death. GG's. <laughs> the paint boost. Oh my god. Yo. Gil wins. Bro, that match was so fast, we only saw like literally half of it. We only saw literally half of it, bro. We we saw like literally like half of half of the match. Oh, we drinking that red paint tonight, chat? Round one. Fight. Alright. Nice whiff punish. Let's go. Nice call out. Spooky out here read Mons, bro. He just knows. Nice jump in. Let's go. Firm. Meaty. Bro. Alright, Wolfie wake it up now. Yep, and here. Tries to go for the sweep. Whiff punish from Spooky. Oh! Forward medium kick, bro. Don't be whiffing. Oh my god, the jumping. Yo, you gotta you gotta start DP in this man, bro. Oh, the side switch. Spooky doesn't even Oh, too far. Nice. Air to air. Back throw. No Oki, just damage. Super is on the table for Wolfie. Alright, we got some huge beam. <laughs> Chat, I couldn't even commentate that. Round I couldn't two. even commentate that, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Let's go. Time to return to harmony. Bro, he's just going to casually do 50%. The pain busted. <laughs> Yo, this man's legit just dashing up in his face like it's fucking Guilty Gear, bro. Wolfie's stuck in his corner, getting whip punished right now. Okay, let's go. Yo! Wolf, yo! Spooky said fuck out of here, bro. Yo, that's a big sheesh moment. Yo, this man Spooky. This man Spooky said, yo, fuck out of here with that hooligan, bro. <laughs> Spooky just laughed. He's like, yo, you trying to hooligan, dog? Like, yo, you trying to hooligan? Get out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That red paint too powerful. Okay, nice ant here. Gets the whip punish. Oh my god, he's just jumping on him now. No jumps allowed in here. Yo, Spooky's actually... Oh my god, Spooky's just jumping on him. Oh, nice jump in. Wolfie's like, hey, you want to jump? Take throw, let's go. Mixing up the offense. Let's plus. Nice, with punish didn't confirm it though. Spooky with the big brain reads right now. I like the respect. Oh my god. How does he not go through that? Oh, the empty jump baiting the parry. Shimmy. Nope, no shimmy. Three framer. Alright, let's play. Gotta be careful. Cammy does have V trigger, right? Yep. GG's. I was about to say, this is a no fireball zone, bro. That's a no fireball zone when she's in V-Trigger. Round two. Fight. Yep. No, it's too far to punish. It's only mana six. Yo, you gotta start DP in that shit, bro. You can't be taking those shakes. Nice EX. Oh, the empty hooligan. Oh, let's go. Okay, Wolfie with the adaptations right now. An empty jump. Going for the douche. Nice shoot. <laughs> Oh, he tried to wake up with... Oh, punish that. No! Too slow. Now, Gil's Chariot Tackle is very punishable, but the the, the animation makes it look like the block... Oh, I think he thought it was going to be four. No, but Wolfie didn't take advantage. He gets a punish. And Spooky is going to take this round. Yeah, it's minus six, but the animation makes it look like the block stun is longer than it is when it's not. That's the thing. You could punish much sooner than you think. Yo, you gotta start DP in that shit, Wolfie. You can't be taking these trades. Ooh, trying to go for the side switch, but Spooky with the big boy reaction gets the medium kick with punish. Oh, empty jump, empty hooligan actually. He, he's trying to bait the parry. 
I like what Wolfie's doing. He's trying to bait this parry right now. Oh! He actually baited the parry that time. Okay, side switch plus. Oh, I like that back jump. Wolfie ready to take. No, oh, never mind. Oh, almost got the whip punish. No, you gotta. You should have super through that. To be honest, he, Wolfie could have super through all of that. Yeah, yeah, he could, he could have just super. That that should have been a no fireball zone. That should have been a no fireball zone. Honestly, it really should have been. Like, there should have been no fireballs. Yeah, that was that was that was a oof. That was that was a big oof right there because he he definitely. He definitely could have fired ball. He definitely could have super through that. He could have EXDP through that. He could have um, EX cannon spike through all of that. He, he could have. He could have did all that. That's gonna be a solid three zero from Spooky. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Wolfie definitely needs to DP so that he's not taking damage from trades. Wolfie takes a lot of damage from trades. All right, next up we got Nonstop versus Ashtar. <laughs> All right, Spooky, you gonna play Strive or you dedicate to Street Fighter? That is a good question. I never asked Spooky that. All right, so next up we got uh, Ashtar, one, two, four, versus Nonstop. Getting the black paint ready. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Uh, there's non-stop. That's the evil paint, the most powerful paint. Listen, bro. Paint fucking drinkers, chat. Where's my paint drinkers gift? Here it is. Fucking paint drinkers. What'd you guys say? You drank the red paint? Hold on a second. You guys said he drank the red paint? Hold on a second. Oh, wait. What the fuck? There we go. Yo, where are my filters, bro? Up oh, there we go. Color correction. Hue shift. Where's the red? There we go. Red paint. <laughs> there you go. Red paint. Is that is that what you had today, Smoogie? You had the red paint today. <laughs> All right, let's get it, chat. Red paint gif. Yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, we are currently at 1150 in the match arena. I want to thank all the supporters, plus the two euros, or the two bucks I got to put in as well. Uh, so Frost Aurora, thank you. Urza, Abudazin, Mitsa Dave, uh, Vermeer, Sushi Sparkle, Koala, myself, Drodra, Gamma, Kurkic, Bronco, Spooky, Aiden, Menengo, Alec Menengo, Torpin, Amin, and Ashtar. Thank you guys for the contributions. Appreciate it. All right, let me do this new prediction poll real quick. Yo, why is the spectator loading so slow this, this week? All right, new prediction, now live. Thanks for the support. Guys, if we get about seven eight more bucks we'll we'll have our top one payout one. fully funded all right yo we got nooch big respect from non-stop bro look at the nooch right now yo this man ashtar got everybody respected Two. oh my god big quick punish oh non-stop tries to go for the micro shimmy nice jump in we got 500 points on non-stop. You know what, bro? I'm putting some big boy points. I'm putting 2,000 points on Ashtar. Ashtar's been popping off tonight with the Kali. Oh, he could have woke up buttons that. No anti here? I'm really surprised. Bro, you hate this ass skin? It's from Darkstalkers, bro. How, how can you hate it? I like that jump, but it could have been anti here. Nice, and Yo, that V-reversal was sick. 
If he believed in his punish, he could have got more. Nice crush counter as well. Meaty throw. Wake up. You got to be careful with not. Oh, check that dash. Let's go. This could be the game. Almost. Just about. Yo, what happened to Ashtar? I think his controller must have died. Oh, Ashtar just got robbed. Yo, Ashar just got robbed. You just thought it was over? Oh, you thought the game was over? Oh my god, bro. Imagine, yo, Ashtar, the biggest choke in Street Fighter V history, bro. This man legitimately thought he won. Wow. Imagine, bro. Oh, it's the end here. Man, put his controller down. Bruh, never put your controller down. Nice me shift. Nice, oh, bad jump in, actually. The man said he thought it was over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ashtar plays so well, and he just threw the whole fucking round. Luckily for him, it's first to three. Luckily for Ashtar, this is first to three, but he definitely... Oh, that's an expensive throw. Yo, he threw a whole ass point, bro. <laughs> Nonstop said, I feel bad. I mean, there's nothing to feel bad about, Nonstop. You did what you were supposed to do. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. There's nothing like... Round one. Like, you, you did what you were supposed to do. Ash did that to himself. Ash did that completely to himself. Yeah, take the dub, bro. Oh my god, the respect. You know, I don't understand why non- Oh my god, that jump in. Yeah, punish that. Nice interruptions right now. Almost gets the whip punish. Good block of his cross ups. Nice whip punish. Didn't confirm it though. You know, I wonder why nobody jumps when they see that long ass startup. Oh, punish that. Yep. Please stop. These people start jumping at V skill one. Yeah, I don't know why nobody's jumping it, bro. No one is jumping it. Like, it's crazy. Oh, big crush now. Let's go. Can we confirm that into a combo. Walk up throw. I don't know. It seems like Ashtar, he's not playing like how he was before. He's completely, uh,. It might be the tilt. I don't know what it is, but him giving up that round, he needs to get his mental back because he's, he's not playing the same. Like, that nonstop is legit just mashing on him. Did y'all see the new R6 character? Not tilted, just not popping off anymore. Yeah, his mind, his mind is totally out of it, bro. He's playing so well, and then... Now he's just giving he's just giving his loot he's just giving his winner spot the non-stop right now. He can he can bring this back 3-0. I one. think that Ashtar can definitely win Twice. this. I think this is very winnable for Ashtar. He just needs to uh, stop being a bot. And stop letting him do that fucking V-Skill 1 bullshit, bro. Yep, jump. Oh, but misses the jump in though. He did jump it. Yep, check those dashes. Hey. You know what's funny? Whenever non-stop, non-stop has very visible tails. If he walks back, he's either going to do the fireball or the V-Skill 1. If he walks forward, he's going to try to grab you. He's going to try to do throw strike. Or he's going to look for a crush down. Yeah, you see? Like... I don't know, man. Ashtar, his, head, his head's not in the game. His head is just not in the game, bro. Ashtar getting abused. 
I mean, that first round was so good, and now, like, after throwing. Nice hands here, let's go. Oh my god, the whip punish him. Nonstop is legit just mashing on him, you know that, right? Oh my god, Nonstop is actually just mashing on him, bro. <laughs> Oh, here we go. The pop-off begins, chat. Nice. He jumps. No! Drops the combo! Nice. Nice. Dash check again. Alright, Ash starts starting to wake up again. Activation. I like, I like that view reversal. No anti air from non stop. And one thing you also got. Yeah, jump that, bro. Jump that. Oh my god. And non stop is going to take it. 3 0 for non stop. But I got to say, that was the biggest throw. The biggest throw ever. I think we all know in our heart of hearts that Ashtar should have won that. Ashtar definitely should have won that. That was oh, we're at fourteen fifty-five plus the two uh, dollars I got to put in for the subs. We are now at um, what is it, fifteen, sixteen, fifty-five? Yeah, so we're almost at our we're almost at our top one stretch goal, chat. Almost at our top one stretch goal. Let's go. Super duper close. All right, so that's going to be 3 0 4 nonstop. You still don't get how that was a magic pixel? I mean, I even said it. I was like, it didn't kill. I even said it in the commentary. I don't know if you heard me. I said, is it going to kill? Nope, not yet. He's got one hit left. Uh, nonstop's got a guess for game. You didn't do anything. It looks like you put the controller down. You just stopped playing the game and, and nonstop killed you for it. And and after that, and after that, you just, it, it just was all downhill from there, bro. <laughs> you did put the controller down? Really? Wow. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, never put the controller down, bro. That's the rule number one of tournament. Always keep pressing buttons. <laughs> All right, next up we got Urza versus Alec Menango. Loser side top eight, guys. I mean, to be honest, um, Ashar, whether he's diving or not, you 100% could have won that. You could have 3 0'd him. You gave him the, uh, you gave him the confidence. To win that, you, 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 your, your Colleen was much better. You, you, one hundred percent could have won that. All right, chat. We're just waiting on Urza. All right. Let's go. All right. New prediction. This is loser side top eight now. All right. New points prediction going up right now. Urza versus Alec Menenko. Let's see. He just wasn't in his own. Let's do this. Is this going to be your 100th tournament where you get the winner's finals and still lose the tournament? Hey, is Gamba here? Margin, what's going on with you, man? Margin, when are you going to come through a Tuesday Teardowns, bro? Don't forget, guys, hit up that Macharino, bro. If you guys just showed up, hit up that Macharino. We're so close to hitting our first stretch goal of the night, which is 20 bucks. We only need a few more dollars. If everybody here does it, we'll we'll have more than enough for all of our stretch goals, chat. Oh, we got the poison. 
versus the Ryu. This is gonna be tough. All right, let's check out the points. We got 500 on Alec Menango. We got 2K on Urza. I'm gonna put a thousand on Alec. I believe in Alec. I think Alec is a super good player. Good blocks. Nice, takes his turn. No, gets hit by the whip though. That Ryu will win. Nice anti-air, gets the punish for it as well after the recovery. Good low forward, excellent trade by Urza. He's gonna choose to get in. Looking for, look, look at the shimmy something, looking to bait something. Urza's looking a lot better than last week. Nice bait. Plus, yeah, you gotta be reverse of that. Nice. Urza's looking a lot better than last week. Last week, Urza was playing Rushdown with Poison, and it was just not working. No, you did not need to jump in there, Urza. See, I was just... See, I was giving Urza props, and, and, and then he just immediately, like, did some fuck shit. You don't need to go in here, bro. See, like, look how... Look at how much life you just lost! Yikes, you're about to lose the game because you keep going in... Yo, I can't give Urza no props, bro. I can't give Urza no props. I legit was just giving him props, and then he did the exact same thing as last week, bro. You don't need to go in. He didn't need to go in. He did not need to go in there. It was so unnecessary for him to do that. When you got the life lead and you're poisoned, bro, just run the fuck away. You lost it because he was trying to, he, he just running in his face. Yeah, see, now, now his mindset is gone. And you know, Street Fighter is a game that relies heavily on mindset. It's something I'm noticing. Nice. Mix up, gets himself out of the corner. No, you didn't need to do that, bro. You didn't need to do that. See, now you just put yourself in a bad situation. You didn't need to do that, bro. What are you doing? It's like he starts winning, and then he... What are you doing? Wow. It's like he starts winning, and then he just throws the game. You win. No, like, it's like he starts winning, and then he just throws the game. Ultra laggy. I mean, stop flipping at him, bro. Like, you want me to remake the lobby? I can remake the lobby. It's go time. I can remake the lobby. Let me remake the lobby. Give me a second. He has one bar. He's got enough bars to me, pretty fine. Yeah, like, he was literally winning both rounds. And then he just threw the game. <laughs> like, like, he just hard threw the game by just jumping, by just running at him. Like, why would you do that? You know? Like, Ryu, like, if he zones, like, when he's zoning, he's winning. And then he starts losing by, like, trying to rush down. It's Ooh, speed test time. moment. Yeah, Alex got five bars to me, and he's UK, so... I mean, we're all EU here, so... Yeah, I mean, everybody's got good bars to me. So there you go. Every, yeah, you both got five bars, bro. So there you go. Alright, so we got 2K on Alec Menango. We got 4K on Urza, so Urza's got the hood on his back. But like I said, Urza needs to like, you think Ryu win again? I mean, if Urza doesn't change, if Urza doesn't adapt to the fact that like, you're playing in a tournament where people can react, you know? Yeah, yeah, very, like, he's playing uh, gimmicks. He's expecting his opponent to get hit with random overheads. Or he's expecting his opponent to get hit with random shit. And that's not a, that's not a game plan. You know? You know what I mean? That's not a game plan. That's not a, that's not a viable strategy. Like, he, he's playing the, what I like to call the gold play style, which is, I'm going to do random shit, and I'm going to hope that because you don't know what I'm doing, you're going to get hit by it. But that's not going to work in a tournament. Yeah, you see, why are you doing that, bro? Like, stop. <laughs> like, play the whip game. 
Yeah, I did bash actually. It looks, it looks dope. Oh, ooh, almost gets to jump and punish that. Doesn't punish the sweep hard enough though. Yeah, no. He, oh, nice punish though, base BP. Must have been a big input error. And like, and now, and now look, look at the difference, right? He's doing chip. Life totals going down. He's got a huge life lead. All he needs to do is show and just play this zone game. Nice anti air. Tries to go for the throw. Good tech though by Alex Manego. Okay. I, li I like the patience. See, now those kind of overheads are good, right? No, 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 no. See, he starts relying on the overhead way too much. Just play the whip game, bro. He's, he does have super. He's got V-Trigger, like... Normal is not an overhead. Well, point is, he's relying on it way too much. Oh, I like that dash up there. Oh, tried to go for the tick throw. You know, the way he's using the overhead, he should be using the whip this way. Nice jump in. Let's go. Big damage. Need he throw. He's got to get in now. He put himself in a bad situation. You see, and this is the mistake that I keep saying over and over and over again. Round two. Even if he's not punishing it, he's putting himself in a bad situation. Because it's not his turn. That's number one. He's in Ryu's face. He's in Ryu's face when it's not his turn. And that's not something. See, like, why would you do that? Like, now you're in Ryu's face. Now he can touch you. Yeah, but if it hits, it's a free conversion. I mean, it is, but it's not hitting. That's the thing. It's not hitting most of the time. And all he's doing, all he's successfully doing is giving up his turn and putting and basically giving the enemy his face. Like the way he's playing right now is much better. Nice jump in. See, that's much better, right? Like all he's got to do is chill. All he's got to do is, is chillax. You know? Like, yep, yeah, see that? That's good. Urza's Laura's more scary. I don't think so. I've seen him play Laura. He plays Laura the exact same way he plays Poison. He runs away, and then he tries to hit you with some random shit. He tries to like do a special move. It's like he's not interested in playing neutral. You know what I mean? He's always trying to hit you with some random shit. And Alec is gonna win this set just by blocking and waiting for Urza to get bored and do some dumb shit like that. No. You see? This is what I mean, right? Alec is going to win this by waiting for Urza to get bored. And do some dumb shit. See what I mean? Look at that. Look, I mean, I, I'm literally, yeah, like, I, I told you. Now it's 2-0 Alec. You know why? Because the amount of mistakes that Urza is making compared to the amount of mistakes that Alec is making far outweigh each other. Alec is making no mistakes. It's teleporting. You don't think this matchup is good for Poison? I mean, I think this matchup is fine for Poison. I just think that... Um, Dude, he's teleporting. Yeah, the whips do have hitboxes. I mean, you both have five bars to me. So, it is normal for us. So, I don't know. Seems like it's fine for Alec as well. I don't think he's teleporting. I think you're just putting yourself in bad situations. That you force your... That you then can't react to. You know? That, that's kind of like what I'm saying, right? You're putting yourself in bad situations that you can't react to. Oh my god, he punished. No anti-air at all right there, Jesus Christ. 
escape. And Alec is going to put himself on match point. He wouldn't have to worry about people teleporting if he was uh, playing poison correctly. Yeah, but I was saying that um, Urza plays Laura the same way. The same way he, he played last week is he expects his opponent to make a mistake. And he's, and he's betting on his opponent to make a mistake. And right there he just gave up Oki and now he's just mashing a new. Why isn't he throwing more fireballs? Because the fireballs can trade with the whip, and he's not trying to take extra damage. And also the flip punishes the fireballs, so you just have to walk in. Okay, that's 3-0. And I do believe that was losing side top eight as well. So Alec has eliminated Urza from the tournament. Urza wouldn't, and I'm going to say something, I'm going to say something very interesting. Urza wouldn't have to worry about lag. Urza would not have to worry about lag if he was playing poison correctly. All right, light and heavy overhead of Modest Ford. It's not the problem. He's teleporting to you. You can't even react. I mean, he's not it's teleporting. You both have five bars. We're both in Europe. I mean, if he's if he's teleporting, then that's that's your connection. GG's, that was hella laggy though. I'm sorry if that was anything on me. I mean, we can't do anything about that, bro. Because every time you play somebody, you say it's laggy. That's the thing. It might be your connection. I think it's your connection, Urza, because every time you play someone in these tournaments, you say it's laggy. Every single time. So it might be your connection. Anyway, next up we got Mr. Joloff versus Drodra up next. The don't say please is your connection or your game plan. No, your game it is your game plan too. <laughs> it's also your game plan as well. All right, we're currently at 15 bucks. A few more bucks, and we will be at a top one payout. So let's hit up that Macharino. All right, Mr. Joloff versus Drodra up next. Let me set this up real quick. Give me one sec. What a trash talk. It's not trash talk. I'm actually trying to help you out because you need to understand I've been running tournaments for a long time. I'm, I'm usually pretty right about my observations. You, you should probably listen to the people who are spectating your games. Because we see we see everything. People who are spectating games see a lot more than what you see in the moment. It's not trash talk. I'm actually saying that, you know, for, for your future benefit. If you're gonna play Poison, you you need to like chill out. Especially if you watch Idon play, he's not really like. When I watch Idon play, he doesn't use that uh that that cartwheel kick a lot. He focuses more so on um, zoning people out with the whip. On hard reads, he does the kick though. He does the kick. He does that kick on hard reads. Like if he, if he knows for like certain you're gonna do a fireball. Okay, anyone join tournaments? Yes, anyone can join the tournaments. And you also have to, um, you also have to accept the fact that you're going to be playing um, in lag if you're gonna be playing online, right? You need to understand that lag is a part of the environment. If you're going to play poison, that's in your favor. You know what I mean? That that's a, that's actually in your favor. If it was like that was 100% in your favor. You know what I mean? Alec won that by waiting for you to get bored and to do something and, and to basically give up your space. He didn't need to get in on you. You allowed him. You gave yourself up to him. That, that's that's basically what I what I was saying the whole game. Is you gave your you gave up your spacing the whole time. You know. Oh, if Inner J won't tell me to sit your ass down to play the life lead. Yeah. 
All right, new prediction poll going live right now. We're just waiting on Mr. Jolov. Any Nikali mains in here? Hey, I don't know. Remember, you're playing Poison. They got to get in on you. It's like if I was to play Dalsum, like you got to you got to get in on me. I don't need to get in on you. Like you you have to come to me. I'm just going to play the range game. I'm going to do what I do from range. It's your it's your job to do the work to get in on me. It's not my job to jump at you and run at you. You know what I mean? All right, guys. New prediction poll now live in the chat. We are very, very close to our top one payout. Remember, guys, hit up that Macherino if you have not already. Yo, where's Mr. Joloff? Is he coming? Did he forget? I don't know. All right, don't forget, guys, there is a, a prediction poll in the chat right now. Make sure you guys place your bets. Uh, where is Mr. Joloff? Mr. Joloff is not here. Maybe he doesn't know about loser's bracket. I mean, I just sent him a message on Discord. He's still in the game. Capcom doesn't care about Nikali. What does Nikali's V trigger do, by the way? I don't even know what his V what his V trigger does. You be forgetting Nikali's in the game sometimes. It buffs all his moves. Oh, so he just gets like a permanent buff? Kodoro, what's going on? I mean, a lot of pros seem to play Nikali. Like, they don't play him in tournament, obviously, but they do play him. Um, they seem to play him in, uh, whatchamacallit. Like, in ranked or whatever. All right, so uh, I don't know where Mr. Joloff is, so he might have to get the, the DQ hammer. Nikali's like Baraka. That's a good analogy. All right, chat. Uh, don't forget, we only need about five more bucks to hit up our top two uh, payout. I mean, our top one payout. So come on, hit up that coupon code. Hit it all up. Um... I don't think Mr. Joloff is here, chat. So there you go. Mr. Joloff is DQ'd. So we're going to do Drodra versus Ashtar instead. Drodra versus Ashtar for top four. Yeah, tight game. Yeah, yeah, very close game, Chad. Very close game. Remember, guys, if you have not already, hit up that Macherino. It only takes literal two minutes of your time. Hit it up. We're so close to hitting our first goal. All right, I'm going to do another uh, prediction poll real quick. I deleted the other one so you get your points back. Drodra versus Ashtar. Let's see if you can get the zone again. I think, I think you got it, bro. Got it. New people in the chat, hit that follow button. Remember, we got the Guilty Gear Strive Major coming up July 31st in partnership with NYC Furby. Uh, you guys know Mr. Sabin, Mr. Arturo Sanchez from Team Spooky. We're going to be partnering with him and Macherino for the Guilty Gear Strive Major. There's already a Macherino uh, set up for it. Uh, I need to create a command for it, and the code is called Strive Major. You guys can hit that up. Start putting money in the pot for that right now. Tomorrow we're doing Rocket, we're doing Rocket Wednesdays uh, plus R tournament every single Wednesday, best plus R tournament out there. Um, every single Tuesday we do Street Fighter Five. Every single Tuesday we do Street Fighter Five as well. You're gonna get into Guilty Gear. Yeah, Guilty Gear is super fun. 
Alright, so this is gonna be a super heavy neutral game, chat. Let's make it happen. Okay, V skill. We got some nooch, nice whip punishment, no confirm. Big anti air side switch into the back throw. Nice. Oh, crush counter. No, too bad confirm. No punish though. Nice, uh, nice, nice jab check right there. Life leave alone. Ooh, crush counter. Goes for the parry. Late confirmed. Oh, good confirmed this time. You know, I might want to pick up Colleen, bro. Colleen's looking kind of drippy. Not gonna lie. Colleen's neutral. Like, nephew makes Colleen look so good. Ooh. The V trigger shimmy chat. Colleen fresh. Colleen iced out, bro. Hit up that match for ice, ice drip setups. Yeah, I might, I might pick up Colleen, man. Colleen's looking kind of nice. Looking for that parry. That parry is punishable, but excellent punish by Ashtar. Ashtar is in the zone right now, Chad. That's what we're talking about. All right, so we got 100 points on Drodra, and we got 2K on Ashtar right now. Yo, nice parry. Good blocks. Yeah, we take those throws. That's fine. Dash up low. Good confirm by Ashtar. Yo, he's probably tired of me telling him to fucking confirm the shit, bro. And here, let's go. No schmix. Respecting the meter. I, I like I like the fact that Ashtar... Oh, nice. Nice. Good punish. Ooh, he's looking for that parry. Nice. Punish. Punish that. Yep. He's going to keep the meter. Empty jump. Let's go. Ooh. That, that could have been punished, but he, he couldn't reach. Oh, big whiff punish. He's going to keep it safe. Looking for the parry. Oh, you're just going to come off the meter like that? Oh, he whiffed it. He delayed wake up. He could have punished that if he had woke up into it, though. Yep, there it is. Droge are going to waste all that meter. That was not a good confirm, to be honest. Like, there was no... Like, he should not have confirmed there. Because not only would it not have killed, it would have put him in such a bad situation, like, meter-wise. You know? just want to do damage. Colleen has such a weird looking face. Yeah, she kind of does, actually. Sakura kind of looks like Michael Jackson. Shit you out at yourself. Ooh. Nice whip punish. Overhead. Let's go. Gonna make up some of that damage. Ashtar's ready with these confirms. Okay. Oh, there it is. Gonna dash up. Go for the Schmitz. Nice, and punish again. Got some new speed play. That could have been whip punish. Watch out for that beast skill. Ooh. Ooh, he could he could be whip punishing those V skills. I like that jump in into the throw. Back throw. Gets the Oki for it. Nice. Whip punish again. He's looking for the crush counter. Drojo's looking for that crush counter right now. Punish that. Yep. Yep. Ooh, looking for the parry. He wants to punish that. He wasn't ready for that. Nice, but he is ready for this one. Speedy throw. Looks for the shimmy. He's definitely going to try to jump out. I like the fact that Ashtar kept some of that B meter for pressure as well. Ooh, nice cross up. Let's go. Good confirm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let's go. Oki, meaty throw, gets tech. Ashtar, you know, Ashtar is known not to tech, actually. Like, ever tech, nice crush. I mean, not crush, but punish. Ashtar is known not to tech. He never techs my throws. But in this tournament, he's teching everybody's throws. Let's go. I like I like that V reversal, but unfortunately, it puts him in the corner. But I think Ashtar can handle that. All right, Droja cleaning up that gameplay, not getting whiff punished as much. Oh my god, that dash got checked. He could have went a super there. I like that reversal. Ashtar for once not respecting that meter. Uh, good activation. If he didn't press a button, he could have punished that B, that B reversal, actually. Nice anti air. Nice. And Droja tightening up that gameplay. Let's go. Roger completely tightening it up right now. Okay, I like these low forwards. Oh, 
Ooh, the parry on the B skill. Meaty throw. Gotta respect the meter, though. He's not respecting it. He's like, fuck, fuck your meter, bro. Nice. Confirm. Oh, we got those confirms? Okay. Dash check. Oh, he did not need to be reversal that. That was, that was unsafe. This is tense. Nice anti air side switch back throw. Ooh, punish that. Let's go. Oh, this is tense, chat. This is this is some neutral. I'm looking at the space in between them right now. Yes! The whip punish. Finish it. Ooh, the tank throw! Yo, Troja woke up, chat. Troja woke up. Troja woke up. That was a good that was a good game. That one right there was a super good game, chat. That, that one right there was mag. Looking sweaty. Yo, that was hella sweaty, chat. This is this is this is Droger right now, chat. This is Droger right now. Hitting those whiff punish confirms, bro. This is Droger hitting those whiff punish confirms. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice counter hit, catches butt, snow confirmed that time. Anti air, side switch, nothing. Big respect from both. Nice dash check. For, ooh, crush counter, dash up. Tried to go for meaty parry. Oh, punish that. No, he's just gonna go for the throw. I respect it. I respect it. He just wants the corner. Ooh, almost gets that whip punish. Doesn't uh so Ashtar does not want to give V meter for free here. Droja is a- oh my god, I like that dash check. Alright, so both have V-meter now. Whoa! That could have been a huge whip punish. Oh, he could have punished all of that, but... Nice. Good parry. Safe option. Nice anti here. Side switch, but with the V-skill. Not sure about that back throw. Oh my god, that was actually godlike. Oh, Droja's gaming, chat. Droja is gaming. Yo, Droja's gaming, chat. Yo. <laughs> this man did super in the on plus frames, bro. Sweep in the V trigger is mad plus. He just said, fuck it. He said, I know you're going to press the button. Waste the bar? I don't think so. It gave him the round. Oh, nice V ship, but no punch. It, it was only a throw. So, actually, um... Ashtar could have punished that V-Ship. If you do throw into heavy butt, you get a crush counter if they V-Ship. Every time. Because they're minus. With V-Ship, it's like mad minus. Alright, he didn't believe in that. No confirm. Nice jump. Bad jump in. Sorry. Ooh, command grab. She makes. Wake up throw. This is the meaty. Confirm. Very winnable right now. Yep. Don't do that. So no fireball zone when Karen's got meter. Droja is reacting, and Droja goes up two to one right now in a super sweaty game. I wouldn't say it's a waste of bar, bro. If it gets you the round, definitely not a waste in my in my book. Yo, Droja on that crackhead gaming tip right now. Round one. When all carrots activate V trigger, they become the biggest brain motherfuckers. Yeah, for real. Well, if Karen's got meter, it's a no fireball zone. Just letting you know, like even even silver Karen can react to a fireball being thrown if they have meter. Oh, bad confirm. Good punish though by Ashtar. I, li I like that. Ooh, beat trigger shimmies, bro. Boozies. Oh, I like that. He just went through it, gets the beady. Code gaming. <laughs> oh, big wake up buttons. Whoa! Base the beat ship of. He hit him when he was airborne, but he gets the punish anyway. He, he should have activated on that. He should have activated it to get the kill. This is tough. Oh my god. Double beat. Yo, just activate, bro. Just activate, bro. Just activate, bro. <laughs> Overhead and Droja now on the verge of eliminating Ashtar. You should have activated. <laughs> you should have you activated, man. 
Oh my god, we're trying to with punish the parry. Yeah, you gotta be careful with doing that V skill too close. It is like minus six, I believe. That's some pushback. Ooh! Empty jump. Makes her whip. Gets a small punish. Ash Star Riddle confirms that, bro. And here, let's go. Tech throw. Air tech throw. Let's go. Back to Foozies. And oh, misses the end here. A little bit too slow this time. Meaty. Gets a strike. Oh, that's a punish. He's gonna go for the throw punish. Doesn't seem like he knows how to punish it. Oh, punish that. Yep. Yo, Ashtar tried to be out. Nice wake up. Check those dashes. Good fresh counter. He's gonna get a whole combo for this as well. Oh, drops it though. Waste some meter. He's gonna try to slide in. Good block. Overhead. Let's go. Rojo sweating right now, chat. He needs to throw something out. Try to make him bait. Man, this is a mind game. Whoever whoever gets hit dies, by the way. He needs to whiff punish. Up oh, there we go. Nice, nice whiff punish. 10 seconds. Nice! Alright. Yeah, take that, take that. That's fine, that's fine. No! Don't take the second one! <laughs> don't take the second one. He had two seconds left, bro. He had enough time for that throw. The back throw is fast. You did slow rise. Apparently, you did quick rise. Bruh. Drodra IRL right now, chat. <laughs> this man is fucking crackhead gaming, chat. That was slow rise. That was you? <laughs> Yo, so whoever voted on Drodra is about to be rich. He took the throw. I mean, that was the right decision. Just not in that particular situation. Real sweaty games. That was that was really good games. Really good games. You said you believe in Drodra? Nice. Next up, we got Wolfie versus Alec Menango up next. And let's check on that Macherino. We are currently at 17 bucks. Chat, three more bucks. We're at that top one payout. I actually got to put $2 in the pot because of the sub. The subs that you guys gave. So we're technically at 18. So hit up that Macherino, chat. Let's work on our top two payout. Let's try to get the 40 bucks tonight. Let's work on paying out the top two players. We can, we can 100%. Get the 40 bucks if everyone uses the coupon code. So once again, guys, hit up that Macherino. Let's get it. If everyone uses the coupon code, everybody does what they need to do. We could get the 40 bucks tonight, so let's make it happen, chat. All right, next up, we got Wolfie Coon versus Alex Menango up next. And don't forget, you guys have many ways that you can hit up that Macherino. It only takes two seconds of your time. You can get Twitch Prime, which is free. Give a Twitch Prime. To this channel i'll put a dollar in the prize pot um, you can do the coupon code you can do the sponsor quests i did all the sponsor quests it took me less than a minute to do all of them i was able to put in i think almost two dollars between the coupon code between the coupon code and the and the sponsor quest so if everybody does it we we should have more than enough we should we should be we, we, we should have enough to pay out the top three if everyone does the match arena, which is the goal. You just went in for the madman throws because you thought a sane person will block at two seconds. I mean, that is smart. A sane person would take the throw. Taking the throw would have, uh, taking the throw or even shimmying. Taking the throw was the right option the first time. Taking the throw was the right option, definitely. Just win. <laughs> yeah, just don't get hit, chat. Chat, if you guys remember when I was playing against Cliff in Guilty Gear today, I was saying, um, I was saying, like, oh, I just figured out how to beat Cliff. Just never get hit. Just don't let him hit you. GG's easy. Easy clap, chat. Just never let him hit you, and then you win. 
And that's actually good matchup knowledge against Cliff and Plus R, by the way. All right, guys, new matchup prediction now live on your Twitch screens. It's legit Bridget's whole game plan. Yeah, it is. Don't get hit. Yeah, for real. Just don't let him hit you. Don't let Cliff hit you. GG's. Because I was losing to a Cliff, and then I realized, I said, if I don't let him hit me in the air, if I don't let him hit me ever, I could just whiff punish all of his attempts to hit me. Round one. And that's how I won. And I was like, okay, all right. I see. Right. I see. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a little bit of spectator lag. Hold up. Oh, we got some douche being played right now. All right, what's the play? Oh, bad confirmed from Wolfie. Alec playing super patient. Alex is so patient, guys. Alec is mad patient. Nice walk on Let's go. Nice crush counter, though. Get some Oki. Try to go for the back throw. Gets another sweep. Cross up. I'm liking the way Wolfie's thinking. Meaty. Yep, Meaty throw. You're not going to take this time, are you? Ooh, I like that. I like that shimmy check. Alec right now. Respecting that meter. I, re I respect the respect. That's plus. Oh, my God. Checking these buttons. Let's go. Oh, he's buffering something. He's buffering. Yeah, but Wolfie can also buff buffer. If he throws a fireball, this is this should be a no fireball zone. That's plus. No! No shimmies here, bro. Alec is like, yo, you are not gonna grab me, bro. Round two. Are you playing too defensive? I mean it's working out for him. He's winning. It's funny because he's winning by being patient. He's winning by being patient. This is literally how Ali has been winning this entire tournament. Even though he's in losers, who did he lose to again? I think he lost to Ashtar, or who did he lose to? I don't remember. Yo, he could've just DP'd that. He's just gonna hold these mix-ups, which I respect. Alex's defense is through the roof right now. Oh, nice back walk. Oh, but that dash check, though. And he's going to cash out on the super. I agree. That's the same. Good activation. Look for crush counter. Nice crush counter. Meaty. Jump. I like that back wall from Alec, though. Alec is playing so solid. Like, he's so solid right now. It's like how solid Alec is playing. He's just so patient. Nice. Get him. Empty, empty hooligan. Let's go. Wolfie's looking for that whiff punish. He needs the whiff punish to win the game. Yo! The walk-up tick throw. Yikes. Alec. Alec just walking up on him, bro. Alec's like, yo, get out of here with that BS, bro. All right, so we got 1.3K on Alec Manenko, and we got 1K on Wolfie right now. Uh, let me check the bracket to see who it was. We're now at 1730, chat. We're so close to that top one. Uh, Alec lost against Mr. Jolong, actually. Alex, Alec lost against uh, Mr. Jolong. All right, Wolfie being a little bit more aggressive. Nice TP. Too obvious of a jump in. No confirmed that time. I like that cross up. Good block. Yo, he is checking these throw attempts. Ooh, that could have been a huge crush counter for Alec. Nice. Just the combo. No, he keeps walking back. Stop trying to go for the throw. Just do your combo, bro. Wolfie's losing because he's trying to do these, like, tick throw setups. But Alec is walking out of all of them. So it would be better. Yeah, he's got a DP. It would be better if he just got his combo. Yo, that dash, no check at all. Oh, my God. Oh! Catch him, but bro, three, four, does. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. How you doing? Ooh, that could have been a good shimmy for Wolfie, but 
no reaction. He does have super. If he gets a hit here, I would definitely come off super, especially because Alec only has like one and a quarter bars. Oh, he had to confirm there. Didn't believe in it. This is another reason why I was practicing buffering in Street Fighter. Like, single hit confirms are so important. Yep, come off that. Let's go. Ooh, oh, wake up buttons, though. Yeah, that's why you got to practice these confirms because, like, he had at least, like, three different confirms. He could have literally just won the game right now. Nice crush counter. Oh, my God, the wake up DP into the parry. Any tips on getting better at fighting games? Um, just play. That's the best tip. Just play. No anti-air. Oh! But the instant air spiral arrow. Just play. That's the best way. Play, and then whatever you lose to, go to practice mode and lab it. That's the simple way. You can be a nerd like me and lab everything in advance, but I also find that just playing and then labbing as you go is the best way to, like, retain information. You know? Nice cross cut. Are we about to get stunned? And we get the trade stun. Uh, uh, nope. I was going to say he was going to get super dead. He could have killed. That was the opti. He was a little bit too far. Wolfie does have super. He can make this comeback. Wolfie's got to start DP. And that could have been DP super. All right. Activation. Nice. What's the play here? If he reacted to that with V-Trigger Cannon Spike in the super, got to confirm these things, man. Wolfie. Wolfie had the confirms. Jeez. Alec is going to go up 2 to 0 over Wolfie in this loser side. Top 8, which this is actually our last game in top 8. We're about to be in top 4 now, chat. After this game. That is true. Fighting games are really, like, big on mental you know, big on, like, mental state. Round one. Fight. I like that dash up. If he could be an extra aggressive, no dash checks at all. But aggression checks from Alec. Yo, the shimmy, but no confirm once again. Wolfie's not ready with these confirms. See, the thing is, Alec is ready with his confirms, though. Wolfie's not nice. Big mix-up. Probably should have EX it for the kill, but he wants to save Barb, which I respect. Ooh, big medium kick activation. Gonna get himself out of the corner, but the quick rise DP. And see, he ended up spinning the meter anyway. That's why it's better to just spend to just spend it. Because if you don't spend it, you're gonna end up spending more anyway. In, in the in the long term. Nice! Oh no, back of her. Nice call out on the overhead. Yeah, he called out that throw tech. Yeah, he's delay teching. Ooh. That was supposed to be EX DP. That was supposed to be EX Fireball. That was an input error. And, you know, one thing I definitely got to say about Street Fighter, stop giving us DP if we don't put in DP. You know what I mean? If we don't put in DP, don't give us DP. Oh, baited. Let's go. Nice shimmy. And Wolfie Coon stays alive, takes a game. Remember, Wolfie Coon is the comeback king. You know why? It happens to me a lot, Ashtar. It happens to me a lot in Street Fighter. When you walk forward and then try to do fireball, it gives you DP. Every time. Yeah, if you walk forward, if you walk forward and then try to do fireball, it gives you DP Round because one. the game, you know, in, in the sense of trying to be... Um, you know, trying to be, what's it called, uh, accessible makes it easy for you to do DP. Yeah, you gotta walk, and then you need to, like, wait a second, and then you need to do DP. But right now, Wolfie getting the download, calling out these throw techs, tries to go for the shimmy, but the anti-shimmy tech from Alec is gonna save him from a quick death. A no fireball zone, nice. And Wolfie's saving himself. Round two. Point. 
Yeah, but to be honest, like, it, it shouldn't do that. Force people to do real DPs, bro. Don't make it easy to do DPs, because the problem with making it easy to... Oh, back firm. At least, nah, you don't want DP. Well, most of the time, you do not want DP while walking forward. Most of the time, while walking forward, you want fireball. I'd rather have, um... I would prefer, like, they just make it so that it's the real DP input. Or at the very least, if you do forward and quarter circle forward, it should prioritize, um, it should prioritize fireball instead of DP. Nice. Punish. Plus. Alright. This is a match point right now for Alec. Alec being super patient. Nice. Calls out the walk up medium. Into the super. He's going to get that life lead. But then you fireball your DPs. No, because I, I do the real DP input. If you end on down forward, it should give you DP. If you end on forward, it should give you fireball. That's what I think. I have no problem ending on down. Oh my god. No, no, no. Ooh, and Alec catches the crouching medium. And Alec takes it 3-1. to one, Eliminating Wolfie Coon just short of top four. GG's to Wolfie Coon. He played really well tonight. Almost got that run back. But now we are currently in our top four. Well, that's going to fuck with micro dashes? I don't think so. B-Shift didn't come out? That's unlucky. Let's give a round of applause for everyone in the top eight. We are now in our top four. Thank you guys so much for uh, playing and signing up to this tournament. Don't forget, let's hit up that. Let's see where we're at in the Macherino. We're currently at 1760. We're so, so close, chat. Hit up that Macherino, everyone. Let's go. Everyone hit it up right now. If everyone hits up the match arena, we can get to the top two payout tonight. So let's work on getting to that top two payout. Let's get it. Uh, don't forget, before we move on to our top four, we got the Guilty Gear Strive Major coming up on PS4 and PS5. Um, Going to be co-hosted by me and NYC Furby. Um, and we also, every Wednesday, have Plus R Rockin' Wednesdays uh, for Guilty Gear uh, Plus R. We also, every Tuesday, do Tuesday Teardowns. That's not going anywhere. We're going to keep doing it. Uh, and every Friday, we do Guilty Gear uh, Rev 2 uh, tournament as well. So make sure you guys hit that follow button. And don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. Because all of, the, all of these tournaments go on the YouTube channel. So make sure you guys hit up the YouTube channel as well. We're like literally 100 subscribers away from hitting uh, YouTube partner. So let's make it happen. All right, next up, we are currently in our top four situation. And it's going to be Spooky versus Nonstop in top four. So let me set that up. And our other top four situation is Alex versus Drodra. So there we go. Uh, let's see, winner's finals. Spooky, you got the paint ready? Spooky, what color paint you rocking? Stop. Black is the game. All right. Spooky said he's ready with that black paint chat. Hold on. You know I got to hit the filter real quick. Hold on. Where, where's, where's, the, where's the black paint? Here we go, chat. The black and white. Old old paint drinker himself spooky getting ready getting ready with the black paint <laughs> let's go all right winners finals let's get that top four let me give you guys your points real quick hold on a second alec took it let me change the title to top four real quick
All right, new prediction going up. All right, you ready? Paint for every situation? Yeah, for real. All right, Spooky versus Nonstop. Don't forget, guys, if you like the content, support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Just to let you guys know, as soon as we get vaccinated, I will be running a local here in Toulouse, France. We're going to be putting together um, Just Met a Local series. Uh, I need to come up with a name for it, but I need to holler at the Esports Bar downtown, put together a nice little local for Guilty Gear. We're going to try to be the premier Guilty Gear tournament in, uh, in, in Toulouse. That's the plan. All right, don't forget, place your bets. Spooky versus Nonstop. I spelled Nonstop's name as Nonstrop. Well, All right, hit up those bets, chat. I think I'm going to put... Who am I going to believe in today? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe in Nonstop. Don't forget, put your points up, chat. Spooky's got zero. I just put non I just put 2,000 on Nonstop. Let's go. Non... No, non... non trap. <laughs> We got 10k on Spooky right now by Vermeers. Alright, so we got the Ed versus the Gill. Battle of. Oh my god, we got 36k on Spooky. Jesus Christ. Yo, Spooky put 30k on himself, chat. Yo, he goes through the fireball, pace the parry, but no combo from nonstop. He's actually gonna end up dropping it. He's just getting whipped, punched left and right. Nice parry. No! But he parried the wrong side. Nice parry. He parried that side. Nice catch the back jump. Nice dash check. Spooky's not having it. Oh, he's trying to parry something. Yo, this man, Spooky out here parrying on reaction. Nice. Big reactions right now from Spooky. Oh, Psycho Upper. Oh my god, gets to confirm. I forgot that he was even in D-Trigger. Jesus Christ, he just died, bro. Man's actually just died. We got 4k on non-stop now. Yo, he's just crossing him up now. Yo, nice cycle up for me reversal. Calls out the throw. Gets the combo off the anti-air. I didn't know that shit, Joe. What? Oh, faded. Oh, this is punish though. Nice throw by non-stop. Gonna activate. Nice check though. Oh my god, he's parrying, bro. He's ready. Nice cycle up her again. Gonna get the combo for it. Gotta watch out for Harmony. Harmony is on the mix, GG. She's oh missed the never mind, GG. Nope, never mind. Yo, Spooky left him alive, bro. I think Spooky won the beam. Oh my god. Yeah, I was about to say, Spooky, you left him alive, bro. You could have killed him twice there. I think Spooky's memeing, guys. I think Spooky's memeing. <laughs> I think he's memeing, Chad. He's memeing. Come on, guys. We only need a few more dollars to confirm that top one payout, Chad. Hit up that Masherino if you have not already, guys. Nonstop is gonna have to play some Fuzis here. Nice dash check. It's something I know that he's not always interested in doing. But he's gonna have to play patiently here and get spooky. Especially, oh, nice counter hit. Nice dash check though, big wake up button. Nice goes through the fireball, but it is nice. Don't stop waking up right now. Uh-oh. Uh, hello? Uh... 
Help! Did your game freeze too? Okay. Game crash? Someone's game crash? No, my game didn't crash. All right, just reset, Nucci. Keep it, keep it moving. Nice throw. Let's go. Oh my God, he tried to parry it and non-stop playing. I don't know what the fuck happened, bro. You know, Ed broke the game, bro. That's what happened. Does this count? It counts. Just play through, bro. It's CFN. We can't do nothing about it. Just play through. Yeah, just play through. The CFN, we can't we can't do nothing about it. Oh, nice with punish. Calls out the the, the, the throw tech. Nice. Doesn't punish the the whip feature because nobody does get the any air. Nice. So we can try to buy a space. Nice parry, let's go. Ooh, I like that V-Shift shimmy. Didn't punish it though. If he did a heavy punch. Ooh, he could have he could've crushed out of that. I respect I respect the backup though. Oh my god. Yo, non-stop schmixing right now, actually. Oh no, you don't want to do that. You you don't want to do that. Don't be testing Spooky's reaction. Spooky got harmony. Oh, Spooky got harmony. You better watch out. Chipped out right now. Yep, harmony. <laughs> Don't respect the fireballs, bro. Do not respect Gil's fireballs ever. Final round. I told you he's got harmony, bro. He should not have respected those fireballs. Like that was the mistake. All he can do behind the fireball is either knee drop or a uh, cherry attack. That's all he can do. Yeah, see, if you just jump, like, that, that shuts down that whole option, right? Oh my god, big bait. Both of these guys with him. Tries to dash in, but he's not that minus. Nice. And it's time to parry. No anti here, I'm surprised. You know, for Psycho, oh my god. For Psycho Upper being so easy to do, I never see Ed's do it on reaction. Oh, that was bad. Yep, just take the throw against Gil. You, you definitely could have EXDP. He could have. Oh my god, that juggles. Spooky goes up 2 0. Ban Ed. Up, 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 up. Alright, that's 2 0, chat. 2 0. Let's see if Nonstop can bring it back, or is he going to have to play for Bluezos? Round one. Fight. Yo, that was a DP. I, I don't know why he's not anti air. I have a question. Is Psycho Upper like invul? No, it's not much work. I mean, not. Oh, that's a punish. Yeah, you're not plus after a mirror. It's about to like, nice fairy. Well, Tom, this time gets the retribution. Full combo. Tries to base some movement. Delayed buttons from Spooky. Looking for the parry. I mean, looking for the stun. Fully invisible is so stupid. These matches have been pretty good. Cash Cash, how you doing? Don't forget, guys, you guys know the drill. Hit up that match arena. We're only a few dollars away from top one payout. If everyone here does it, we can get to a top two payout. Yo, Spooky's drinking the paint right now, chat. Spooky's on match point. He's beaming right now. It's a pretty crappy EACP. Yo, this man Spooky's beaming, bro. <laughs> Yo. Dr. Gus, what's going on with you, bro? Time to return to harmony. Dr. Gus, I saw you in those trial lobbies. Um, everything's good, Cash Cash. Everybody's doing good. 
do play like his third strength with the normal big punish. Let's go. And Spooky with the 3 0. Over non style wins. I saw you in those Strive lobbies, Dr. Gus. I didn't I didn't play you, but I did see you. I did see you in the Strive lobbies. Unless it was someone using your name. It's go time. Yeah, the game crashed for everybody at that same point. Alright, so Spooky's gonna go up 3-0. Next up in our top four, we got Alex Menengo versus Drodra. Yeah, I think it was CFN bugging out. Nice. Appreciate that, Cash Cash. Thank you so much. We're gonna, actually, I do need to take some time to read out the supporters for the Macherino. We got a lot of supporters today. All right, so Kesh Kesh with the $2.50. Frost Aurora with 30 cents. Hertzy with the coupon code, Ball Sauce. Doing all of the all of the uh, sponsor quests and the coupon code. Appreciate that, Ball Sauce. She's Egg also doing all of the sponsor quests and the coupon code. Kesh Kesh also with the coupon and the direct contribution. Frost Aurora also doing the sponsor quest. Urza with the coupon of Buddhism. Pizza Dave, uh, Vermeer, Sushi Sparkle, Koala, myself, Ga uh, Gamma, Kurokic, uh, Davey Bronco, Spooky, Aiden, Alec Menango, Torpin, Amin, and Ashtar. Thank you guys once again for all the support and the contributions tonight. All right, so who's next? Uh, let me see. Drodra and Alec Menango. So give me one second. This is our loser semifinals. Better witness. Abyss, you could have played in the tournament. I don't know why you keep ducking. Abyss out here ducking hard on Street Fighter, bro. All right, let's get it. Spooky on that god paint. You got this. Yeah, he's on that god level paint, bro. You can't play anything for the next month. Oh, what happened? Is it exams? Maybe like one hour each day. Oh, we're at 18 bucks now, chat. Let's go. Big exam time. Yeah, I'm doing a prediction right now. All right, new prediction, now live for the next match. All right, let's go. Loving the tunes. Yeah, we're just playing some uh, some Guilty Gear tunes. So did you guys hear the Guilty Gear OST? You have your second half of exam in 10 days. You have your entry exams next month. You won't win in Bafu because you're poor. Well, Hilarious. All right, we got 1K on Drodra. I'm gonna put some points up on Alec. Alec has been playing super duper good all night tonight. I somewhat predict Alec. Let me see what the Smash GG predicts. Let me check out the Smash GG prediction real quick. So it has uh, Alec beating Drodra, and then it has Nonstop beating Alec, and then Spooky beating Nonstop. But I actually think that Alec might beat. I think Alec might beat Drodra, and I think that Alec will also beat Nonstop. I, I believe he can win both. Fight. You might burn out midway through. This is becoming way too much to handle. I mean, you know what they're trying to teach you by making you do all these exams, right? They're trying to teach you that your life is going to be all about work for the rest of your life, so you might as well just get used to it. That's what they're trying to teach you. Oh, that neutral jump is dangerous, especially with the reaction. Yep, cross cut. Let's go. Ooh, he could have punished that probably with a light kick, maybe. That was a really close uh, forward medium. Ooh, nice. Gets confirmed. Knocks him down. Gets the point. 
corner. Gets the crush counter into the B trigger. Nice V reversal. Oh my god, overhead. Jumps himself right back out of the corner. Nice EX fireball. Trying to bait some sort of wake up though. Is it good? What's going on? Oh, this man trying to go with the overhead. Bro. Yolo overhead in his face. Alec Manego does have full V meter right now. Oh, bad confirmed. A little bit too slow. On the plank for Troja. Ooh. I, oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. That was sick. Yeah, sure. Go for it, isn't it? Oh, he didn't believe. He didn't believe in that confirm. Oh, that was a free DP, but he didn't believe in that either. Peace out, Abyss. Thanks for coming through. Alright, give me one second. Are you, uh, Yuri Uriot? Yo, Drodra's popping off right now. Hold up. Drodra came to win tonight, chat. Drodra came to win tonight. Drodra has come to win tonight, chat. Drodra's a gamer. Yo, Drodra. Drodra real talk. Georgia real talk, he came to win tonight, bro. He, he drank his Red Bull. He drank his Red Bull, bro. He, he's ready to game, bro. Oh, we got 3.4K on Alex right now. Georgia got... Joseph confirms have been on point. Nice. Alright, Alec is out here respecting now. He got the Doritos. Twitter's Izzy FGC. Alright, hold on a second. I just followed some random person in, bro. <laughs> MCG Izzy? I think I'm already following you. I'm already following you, bro. I don't know how, but I'm already following you, apparently. You can't message me? I can message you. I can message you. <laughs> oh my god, and we're missing the whole match. I'm talking about Twitter DMs, bro. We're missing the whole match. Mountain Dew, yeah, he's got the Mountain Dew, he's got the Doritos, he's got the G Fuel, ooh, bad confirm. See, that's when you're too crack when you get these crackhead confirms. No problem, no problem. That's how you get them crackhead confirms, bro, he's too, he's too geek. He's too geek, bro. Ooh, that was sick. He's got full meter. Droja is at a huge life deficit. One hit into super, he could he could at least tie it up. Oh, that that could have been it. But he's gonna save the meter. Ooh, he's got he's gotta be better with these planks. With the Tinkos. Yep. Oh, that confirmed was godlike. Yo, Drodra is cracked, chat. This man Drodra is fucking cracked. Did you guys see that? That was a single hit confirmed, bro. He was ready. Yo, free jump in? That mental stack is really high for Alec right now. Oh my god, that was another stick confirmed. Could have got that. Oh, he, he's, he needs to get these confirms, man. Back throw could have won that. You gotta watch him. 10 seconds. Mm, and Alec is going to take that point. That was a close one, though. Nice dash under by Alec. Good patience. He had to hit. He had to hit, but he didn't confirm it. He had the game. He got. He had the low forward, but he didn't confirm it. Unfortunately. Fight. Ooh, almost gets a bit punished. Almost got punished for throwing that button out there. 
Nice medium. Good space. You know, it's even, like, really impressive that Punk is able to hit, like, single hit confirm the way he does. Because, like, hit confirming is actually difficult. Like, it's really hard. You know, like, buffering and stuff, it takes a lot of practice. That's something you, you legitimately have to practice. That's not something you can just do intuitively, you know? And I know because I spent some time like trying to practice some hit confirming with, uh, with Kage, and yeah. It's like you really gotta restrain yourself from pressing the button when it doesn't hit. And you gotta recognize the hit, and then you have to press at the right timing, you know? Good, 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 good activation. Alec, once again, playing so, playing so chill. Alex just punishing all these little mistakes. Rodra, yikes! Very nice, very nice. Round two. Fight. Ooh, overhead. Ooh. Ooh, I like these dashes. Ooh, that jump was. I, li I like the walk under from Alex, making sure that he doesn't get cross punished that. Yo, he didn't punish that? I guess Alex must not know that that's the like. Unsafe, especially if you got like a three, four frame. No cross gets to stop. Nice EXT peek on the some space. This is speedy though, but does connect the low forward. Alec with the life deficit this time. Good confirm. Doesn't doesn't get the hit though. Ooh, he's, he's ready. Oh, bad confirm. That one's actually gonna get punished. Nice. Good confirm. Finishes the combo. Let's go. Tries to dash up for some Oki. Nice V skill. And Troja cracked out of his mind. We got some. We got some nooch being played here, Chad. This is, this is pretty crazy. Let's go. Ooh, I like that. I like that check. He checked that. He was like, yo, I'm checking that shit. Nice to punish that. Yep. I like that V-Shift. Gets out of dodge. Doesn't have to deal with the tick throw setup. Nice. Knock him down. Didn't activate off that V-Skill, though. But he will activate off his block one, though. Ooh, he almost got whiff punish. Nice. Good confirms. Once again, oh my god, gets the BD again. Into the BD throw. Another one. Oh, tried to go for the cross up, but the walk under an Alex showing that he's ready for those. He's got parry. This is a dangerous situation. Punish that. Yep. And Drozra getting a little bit too uh, buttony in that situation. Getting a little bit too buttony there. Kind of through the game by trying to do the, the special in the corner. He, he had it. I mean, he could have taken uh, another throw. He could have taken at least one more throw. Yeah, Alec is going to win this just off being patient. Like, it's like his patience is winning him so many matches in the tournament. And, you know, the match that he did lose against Joloff, he was not playing patient. And that's how Joe Loff was able to capitalize. So it seems like he learned his lesson and just disciplined his uh, his gameplay. And now he's like he's playing much better. Okay, take throw. Let's go. Lean dash. Let's go. Okay, good medium confirm into the sweep for the knockdown. Take the throw. You got the life lead. It's all right. Ooh, no, he didn't take the throw. He didn't take the throw, chat. See, look, you just lost like 30, 40 percent. Because he didn't take the throw. Gotta be, gotta be careful with these parries. He could have buried that. That was a free parry. But Alex's gonna play safe. Punish that. Oh no, he didn't punish it. He's gonna get the game for that too. It seems like he doesn't understand that that overhead is punishable. Georgia taking advantage of that, ready to tie us up two to two. And our loser semifinals. Ooh, nice 
Yeah, Phoenix Fireball. Gonna buy himself some space. Dash up, no check. Oh, checking him this time. Oh, nice confirm. Gets it. No, drops the combo, but picks it up anyway. Let's go. Oh, nice check. Using a low forward. Trying to pick it. Oh, the debate. After the activation, he just loses like 40 something percent. And the air must go. Activation. He had the EX meter. Throwing fireballs is pretty dangerous. Trojan's gonna buy himself some space and try to active, uh, try to dodge the fireball with the EX, but he's too close. Nice. With punish, he does have meter. He needs to use EX. I think the combo. Oh, overhead. Throwing combo though. Plus frames. Got some foods. Oh my god, that was the round. That was the round. If he confirmed it. I will save that bar for the fireball. He's using it for the mix-up. Nice check on the tick throw setup. Alec not allowing himself to get tick throw. Oh, you gotta, you gotta react, bro. And Drodra. Ready to go down on match point. Yo, Alec is checking every tick throw, every dash. Have you guys noticed that? He's checking like little oh, fresh guy. He's checking most dashes. Most, most crush. He's checking most dashes and most tick throws. Nice crush counter again. Set up. Good B reversal. Oh. Throw. Jumps out of the corner. Nice walk under by Droger. This is really tits. Nice. Didn't confirm it. Nice with punish, let's go. Big damage. Spin all three bars for the damage. I respect it. Probably could have killed if he just did super, honestly. But I don't know, he did have a lot of life, and Droja is gonna tie us up two to two. I'm not a Karen player, so I don't know. I don't know what would have done more damage, but it did look like the three bars did do like way more damage than what the super would have done. Yo, Droja popping off. Rodra is popping off right now, chat. And our top four. All right, this is it. Rodra ran it back 2-0. Alan got 2-0 first. Rodra just ran it back 2-0. It confirms. Take throw. Nice V reversal. Oh, take throw. I like that V shift. Ooh, big whip punish. Gonna use that plus frames to get in. Oh my god, double overhead. He's not blocking overhead. Good block. Could have reacted to that with the EX command dash. This is so tough. Both of these guys are so close to each other. Alec being hella aggressive right now. He's just walking up and buffering right now. He's got to react to one of these fireballs. Nice crush counter. Let's go. Throw attack. Don't want to give him B meter for free. Nice with punish again. Ooh. Fake command dash. He needs to react to a fireball to get the kill combo that he wants. He does have super. He's a, like, that's what he needs. He needs to do EX. Yes, command dash on a fireball to get the win. That's Drojo's win condition right now, but he's not reacting to the fireballs though. He's just blocking them. Like he should not be throwing fireballs here. Like, come on, <laughs> full screen fireball. Come on, Drojo. Oh, I think I think the nerves are getting to him. Round two. Alex should not be throwing fireballs in that situation. Cross up, back throw. Ooh, oh, red. No reaction from Drodra. Punish that. Nice. Alec right now changing up his tactics. Playing a lot closer. DP, yeah. Drodra starting to make mistakes. 
trying to scramble to find his way out. Oh, he's looking for the V trigger shimmy. Nice. Good hit punish and damage. Oh, there we go. Super. Yep. Let's go. Spend it. I agree. Probably nerves, yeah. Whoa. Nice. Oh my god. You take that. Oh my god. Ah, uh, nerve. I think Drojo. I think the nerves got the Drojo. I think the nerves. I think tournament you nerves got wins. to him. GG's. He he could he could have definitely won the last round. He didn't need to put himself in this situation. He could have won that set if he had um. It's go time. That looked like a sweaty round. That was hella sweaty. All right, guys. Let's see. Let me give the point to Alec. Don't forget, guys, hit up that match arena. We only got a few bucks left to confirm our payout. Three to two. Alec Menango takes it. Next up is Alec versus Nonstop. Yep. Alec versus Nonstop up next. Losers finals. After this, we got grand finals. So we're literally almost done with our tournament tonight, guys. Give me one sec. Let me set everything up for you guys. Don't forget, new folks, hit that young follow button if you haven't already. All right, let's go. All right, new bets going up. Give me one sec. I'm about to hit you guys with the bet. guys new winner prediction now live place your bets what do you guys think is gonna take it new folks in the chat make sure you guys hit that young follow button remember we're part we partnered with NYC Furby for the Guilty Gear Strive Major coming up July 31st through September 18th you can sign up for it on Smash UG right now there you go don't forget tomorrow we're doing Rocket Wednesdays Guilty Gear Accent Core plus R tournament we do it every Wednesdays Make it happen, chat. We got Ryu versus Ed. Let's get it. And don't forget, hit up that Matcherino, guys. We only got a few more dollars to hit. Round one. But we could hit more, chat. We could get more. Hit up that Matcherino. Let's make it happen. All right, nonstop. Going to play very serious against Alec right now. He's, he's been watching Alec the whole tournament. Nice whiff punish. Normally, nonstop likes to run at people. Nice. Playing the, he's playing the spacing game right now, which I really like. He knows that the spacing is better. Oh my god, the dash up. Alright, we got 600 on non-stop. We got 100 on Alec. I'm going to put some points on Alec. Y'all are capping. I don't know what's up with all these cap bets lately. I'm putting on 1,000 points on Alec. Uh-oh. Big confirms. Let's go. Nice throw tech. Oh, no cross cut, but yes, the combo drops it though. Oh my gosh, it's the, it's the armor break. Guard break, actually. Nice punish. Yo, he is punishing that shit. Yikes, he died. Holy shit, he died for that. God damn. Oh wait, there's a different Izzy FGC. <laughs> there's a different Izzy FGC, bro. There's like too many Izzy FGCs. He died, bro. He actually died for that shit. Nice, with one. nice punish, actually. Stand jab to activate that B shit. Ooh, no DP. I guess he thought it was gonna cross up. He wasn't sure. Decided he was just gonna block it. 
Nice EX fireball, he's just gonna go straight through it. Perfect on Twitter. <laughs> Damn, he running B skill too. I, I so. Nice whip punish. Off the walk back. Not gonna kill. Looking for the crush counter. EXTP? Nope. Nope, Alex is gonna chill. Alex is gonna chill. EX Fireball to get in. Oh, but the cycle up. A little bit one too many dashes there. Ooh, non stop out here with a robbery right now, though. Final round. Fight. KMG found a lot of Izzy's on, on Twitter. Yeah, there's like several Izzy MGZ's on Twitter, actually. So. Fading. Okay. Nice win punish. Oh, he's got super. He might cash out here. Yep. This could kill. Not sure if he activated here, but this might. This is definitely. Gonna yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just end things, Shed. This is definitely going to kill. And non stop is going to take the first game. Minus six on block? Okay. Round one. Fight! Alright. Nice punish. Let's go. He's gotta be careful with that V skill. Nice overhead. A lot of people get hit by overheads today, bro. Oh my god, he punished that, bro. Yo, he is punishing that every time. Nice, Psycho Ever. Let's go. Alright, here comes the end robbery, guys. Hey, Kusai, what's going on with you, man? Double beat. Oh, this talk is crazy. He might get stunned. Yeah, yeah. EXCP. Nice conversion. Yo, but the cycle up and non stop with the robbery. Round two. What is this pressure? Hey, it's Ed, bro. It's EX upper color, that's what it is. <laughs> it's Ed robbery, that's what it is. You know, if he's getting stand medium punch, he could probably get a bigger combo. He could probably get stand medium punch, maybe, if it's counter hit into uh Oh, Psycho Ever again. Oh my god, the jumping. What a magic of butt. Non stop right now. Popping off. Tries to go for the throw tech, but. Oh. Nice punish again. He could probably just stay in medium in the Crouching Fierce into DP, maybe? Something we got to lab, chat. Oh, nice. Goes to the fireball. Yo, to wake up DP. Good trade. Buys uh, Alex some space. Alec is gonna have to be a little bit more random. He's playing too uh he's playing too composed with non-stop. Oh my god, that confirm is dead. No, he didn't he dropped the combo. But he's still one hit. EXTP bro. Oh 
Oh, that's a punish. This character reminds you of Dudley. All right, nonstop goes up two to zero right now. All right, let's see, let's see if, let's see if Alec. Alec has fought his way all through losers. Played so many strong players. Played so many strong players tonight. Let's see if he can, if he can make this 3-0 run back, chat. Round one. Run it back. Hey, run it back, chat. Almost gets hit with that jumping. Man, does the Ryu player really have to hold all that pressure? Um, not really. But it is a 50-50. He could just throw. He is mad plus. He could just throw you. Or he could frame trap you. But you could technically DP on plus frame. Alec just didn't want to DP. Looking for the shimmy. Nah, stop. We'll check it. He's not believing in these stand mediums. Oh, oh yeah, it's chip. Yep, that's chip. That's chip. All right, nonstop puts himself on match point right now, and it seems like Smash GG was correct. It seems like nonstop is gonna be Alec Menengo, actually. I thought that Alec was gonna actually do an upset, but it seems like uh, the Ed is proving a little bit too much. Oh, nice sweep with punish. If there's ever a time to run it back, it is now. Let's go. Oh, nice reversal. Oh, big B reversal. Let's go. Nice bit punish. No confirms, though. You just remember that Ed likes Ed can mash through anything. That's one of the things that make Ed so strong is that he can literally mash out of any, any pressure you put on him. So, you kind of, yeah, punish that. Oh, come on, bro. Confirm that. You could have won the game right there, actually. Oh, Punish that. Let's go. Oh my god, he just does it again! No, and non-stop robs him again. Non-stop robs him again, bro. The robbery. The robbery, bro. Big robbery. Alright, guys, let me award the points to the non-stop believers. It's go time. Psycho upper, bro. So that's going to be a 3-0 for non-stop, actually. And now we are in our final game. Grand final. Spooky versus non-stop. So give me one second. Let me set everything up. And guys, once again, last chance to hit up that Macherino. Last chance to hit up that Macherino, guys. Last chance. Do the sponsor quest. Put in the coupon code. Hit it up, please, and thank you. Make it happen. Uh, let's see, Spooky versus Nonstop up next. Let me set that up real quick. Yo, dog, I heard you like EX Uppers, GG's. <laughs> it's all about the EX Upper, bro. All right, so Nonstop on the loser side. He has to beat Spooky twice. Spooky on the winner side, not dropping a whole game. And this is our final game of the night, chat. It's time to get hype. I want to thank everybody who played, everyone who supported. Let's shout out the supporters. First things first, let me shout out the followers and the subscribers tonight. Um, Bro Ada, WSSF for the sub, Kabruski, Sneaky, Via Like, Fuzzy SSB, Vermeer's Gift of the Sub, The Gamma. Uh, Ni, Ryu, Proto Michi, Lord Headpress, me to Dave. Thanks all you guys for the follows and sub tonight. Appreciate it. Um, and let's look at the contributions. 
Cash, once again, shout out Frost Aurora, Cash Cash, Hertzy, Ball Sauce, She's Egg, uh, Urza, Abutsen, Mitsu Dave, Vermeer, Sushi Sparkle, Koala, Drodra, Gamma, Kurokich, uh, Bronco, Spooky, Aiden, Alec Benango, Torpin, uh, Amin, Ashtar, and Dr. Gus. Thank you all for your support tonight. How, how many paints you drink this movie? All right, let's get it, chat. Finals. All right, new prediction going live right now. Non-stop versus Spooky. All right. You guys want an anime moment, chat? Hold on a second. This is your man non-stop sitting down to EX Upper, chat. <laughs> How to beat Spooky. Spooky right now, ready to ready to get that ready to get that check, bro. Spooky right now, ready to get that check. He's like, yo, this is the final game. Let's get it. I'm ready. He's like, yo, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you place your bets. We got 5K on Spooky. We got 1K on Nonstop. This is for the reset. If Nonstop happens to reset, then we do another bet. Yeah, that was actually Ashtar. Ashtar hit that big whip punish confirm. He put down the stick. He was like, let's fucking go as he was losing the game. Bro. Don't forget, guys, if you like the stream, hit that follow button. Hit that subscribe button. Support your boy. I'd appreciate it. Shin Misat Spooky right now. Secret pain. Oh, he's trying to bait. He's trying to bait the DP. Nice whip. Oh my god. If non stop had just sat there, he could have punished that. Oh, punish that. Let's go. Oh my god. Both of these guys are trying so hard to beat each other, bro. Overhead. He didn't believe in that, though. Very nice. Primordial. Round 2. Yo, he's literally testing him. Bait out the EX upper. He's testing him. He's trying to get him to, to see if he's going to anti air at all. Oh, nice shot. Oh, base the parry. Let's go. Uh -huh. Retribution. He's just gonna let him drop. Let him wake up. This. Oh, GG's. 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 That's a point for Spooky. Yo, he's, he's got harmony, bro. Not. I'm gonna tell you guys something about Gil that I learned. Gil gets all his damage off baiting your jumping. Gil wins. That's literally Gil's whole game plan. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can punish that V reversal as well. No air, only ground. Nonstop didn't have the air permit this round. Uh oh, let's go. Good anti air. Uh oh. We got another freeze. Yo, this happened the last time these two played as well. This happened the last time these two played. The last time they played, it did the same thing. Damn, the anti Rashid character. Do we gotta remake these lobbies? Yeah, but Gil, the whole game plan with Gil is to make it so that you, um, oh, nice punish. Oh, punish that. The whole game plan with Gil is to make you jump. Because then he just anti-airs you for like fucking 50%. All of Gil's combos are basically, like his ground combos are not even that bad. Like his ground combos aren't even like that serious. You know what I mean? Nice crush counter. No! Alright, big damage right now. Yep, you can DP out of that. Nice, grabs the parry. Oh my god, he parried again. Yo, you should just grab his ass again. Update it. Gets the retribution as well, so he's gonna get combo for it. And get the round. Let's go. Spooky with the quick 2-0. Are we about to get a quick 3-0 in our grand finals, bro? Remake lobby? All right. All right, let me remake the lobby. Give me one sec. All right, guys. What guys? What song you want on our potentially last game? Unless, uh, unless your boy nonstop hits him with the three zero run back. It's go time. All right, let's go. And now for your final trick, winning. Algeria paint, yikes. All right, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> That's funny. So we got 35,000 points on Spooky. We got 1,000 points on Nonstop. If Nonstop happens to run it back, it's going to be crazy. All right, new people in the chat, don't forget. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that follow button. Like non stop waking up, chat. That's KO Kid color. <laughs> that, I think that's like the Algerian flag color as well. Uh oh, we got some we got some big damage combo set up. Same side setup. Yo, he's dead. Yo, he's taunting, bro. This man Spooks is out here taunting, guys. Round two. <laughs> Point. Non-stop walking himself to the corner right now. Spoo's getting the corner for free. 
Oh my god, Mace to parry, but doesn't get anything for it, though. Yep, and now Nostop is in the corner, she bait it. Spooky out here playing with his food right now. Nice crush counter. Big combo, though. Yeah, we do this every week. Oh, nice over. Yo, you just hit him with bad overheads. Oh, nice punish. Let's go. Ooh, almost went through. Not stop walking himself back to the corner again. Nice parry. Waits for him to go to the other side. And that's the tournament, chat. To return to harmony. And that's the tournament. Yeah, if you're playing in it, you can stream your run. Totally fine. All right, well, GG, chat. Don't forget, hit up that Macherino if you haven't already, chat. Please and thank you. Hit up that young Macherino. Put some more dollars in it for the homie Spooky. Spooky wins tonight. GG's to everyone who played tonight. But your homie Spooky did win. Seraphic win. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching the tournament. Don't forget, please follow me on my socials. Please follow me on my socials, Discord, Twitter, YouTube, all that jazz. Become a part of the Meta Junkies community. Tomorrow, we're doing Guilty Gear Plus R, Rockin' Wednesdays. Now, for those who don't know, Rockin' Wednesdays is the hypest Guilty Gear tournament out there right now. Like, this shit is hype. Like, we, we've had some, we've literally had some of the best Guilty Gear players in the world play in Rockin' Wednesdays, chat. Yeah, next week, nonstop, run it back. Run it back next week. Save it for next week, nonstop. Anyway, I'm going to look for somebody to host. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, everyone, for the support. Once again, definitely appreciate you guys coming through every week for these tournaments. Uh, let's hope that we get bigger and bigger Street Fighter uh, tournaments going forward. Uh, I'm going to host the homie Shin Kintsu. I'm sure you guys have heard of him. YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Seems to Super also be playing Street Fighter. Sure you can. Why the fuck would you do that when you have Denjin? Anyway, I will see you guys right. tomorrow. GG's, you made it just in time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Spooky, DM me. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Guilty Gear Plus R. If you were willing to sit down, if you want me to really fucking tell you how I feel.